bum, 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 bum. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. We've been blessed by seagulls. We've been blessed by seagulls. I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. I hate them. <laughs> I hate seagulls. Fuck them. They heard me when I was a little child. Fuck these things. <laughs> like, honestly, uh, like, for summer holidays, uh... We went to a shit ton of islands, and on each of these stupid islands were seagulls. And these mother truckers, they always stole my food. Also, wait, let me restore the game. I have to restart the game, wait. Uh, let me restart the game real quick, because I forgot to plug in my controller. I forgot to plug in my controller, and I don't want to clickety-click-click-click everything, you know? I don't want to do the clickety click click click. There we go. Capturing yes. I don't want to do the clickety click for a visual novel. No, 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 no. I did that in the beginning. I read this without any controller thingies. I was just clicking my mouse all the time, like clickety click 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 click. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. This is a super snooze fest. Just a fair warning. The first episode is a super snooze fest. <laughs> At least we will have voices. Wait, hello? I did the ding dong. Hello, let me do the ding dong. There we go. We're entering. We have voices for the characters. So the characters are voiced. The rest I actually have to read. So yeah. Uh, in the middle of the game, yeah, you can save. You should save. You should save. Peek here once in a while. Ah, oh, we don't need tips. You don't need tips. Everyone's gonna die. You don't need tips. The story is very obviously fictional and fantastic in nature. Any resemblance to existing individuals, organizations? Excuse me? <laughs> I was still reading that well. Okay. Oh, also tell me about the volume. The volume, like... Some tracks are not that loud, others are super duper loud, so it, it will be interesting. But yeah, we will do it like this. I will not read this. We will actually have voices, Japanese ones, and I will do the rest. Yeah, alcohol, wait, this is a Noros. The old physician let out a sigh as he removed the stet... St How do you pronounce this word? Stethoscope. In German, it's just stethoscope. <laughs> Two elderly men could be seen in the dimly lit study, which was filled with dust and a sickly sweet stench. Mmm, yummy. In the corner of this room, which was much larger than what most people would call a study, was an expensive looking bed and a man undergoing a medical examination and the physician conducting it. <laughs> it's like these things, like full body armor standing in their stomach. Study, so so and called study. <laughs> there was also what appeared to be a servant watching over the whole scene. <laughs> it's Kinzo. <laughs> Wait, I need I, I need to take a screenshot for a Noros. We're gonna we're gonna take a screenshot for a Noros and we're gonna post this on Discord. <laughs> the bottle is my friend. <laughs> <laughs> this dude is old. Wait. <laughs> Do you notice his tie? Do you notice his tie? <laughs> he has his tie over his cloak. <laughs> Somewhere. Just look at this tie. This guy. As the man bearing his chest with a stethoscope, steth stethoscope rearranged his clothes, he spoke unapologetically. Oh, Man, this guy, look at his face. <laughs> this tie. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. This guy. Also, the subtitles should be big enough, I think. Yeah, that, that looks big. <laughs> Refrain from drinking? Uh huh. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, I love drinking. <laughs> Genji. Genji. I need healing! <laughs> this guy. 
心持ち娘でな<笑> Slightly, what does that mean? Like one tenth out of it? <laughs> Hello, Karu! Yeah, no! But this, uh, the first episode of Umi Neko is like a super snooze fest. Like, um, they explain the whole, not the world, but what the setting is kinda, like the characters. What kind of characters are there? It's like super cringe. If you actually know anything about Umineko, the first episode is really, really cringe. And you can just sit back, relax, listen to the awesome BGM. <laughs> Who did? The right one? That's a Nora's Rubix. <laughs> the right one is... <laughs> the right one is... But guys, as I said, <laughs> look at his tie. That looks so weird. Like, look at his tie. <laughs> you already took a power nap, so you hope you'll be awake. It is okay. Oh god. Everything looks so different. I played this with the original um, sprites. These are the PlayStation 3 sprites, and I played this with the original. This is so different. Oh, after dying, boss, the master who demanded the alcohol and the family doctor who forbade it, Genji, the old butler, I need healing, silently gave a slight nod and carried about his master's orders faithfully. <laughs> oh, me, 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 me. I don't know. I don't know who that is. I do not know who that is. The family doctor Nanjo. So we have a Nanjo and a Kenji. Kenji, Genji. <laughs> <laughs> Let out a deep sigh once again as he watched the butler busy himself alongside the liquor cabinet. And there was a smell filling up the room. The sweet poisonous aroma felt as though it melted the heart, if not the soul itself. It was the smell of that venomous green... What the hell? Green ring that the man couldn't bear to part with. Green? Wait, what is that? Is it his medicine? Ah, uh, okay. Wait, Nanja was the doctor, right? Hello, Noras. This is you, Noras. We already found you. You're the old guy. I have nothing. <laughs> That's like that Sailor Moon meme. <laughs> My job is done. But you haven't done anything. Goodbye. <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 because this guy he loves his alcohol he doesn't want to part from it mm. Wait, so they're talking about chess already here i see oh. <laughs> it's huge, I like it. There's water coming out of it, and now I'm wet. <laughs> okay, so this guy, he's like, yeah, whatever. I, I would die if I wouldn't get my alcohol. Wow, nice one. <laughs> nice one, Kinzo. <laughs> yeah, this this um, novel, they're playing 5D chess. This is like, holy fucking shit. Disregarding Nanjo, who had his face set in a resigned expression, Kinzo took the glass that Genji was holding out to him. Very few poop. poop. <laughs> Very few people would associate that venomous color with an alcoholic beverage. Nanjo. Nanjo. Oh. Is this how old people talk? They're always like, hmm. Okay. He doesn't have long to live, does he? Two days. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so you only have one day to love. Yeah, well, I won't hand over my alcohol to you. Nanjo once again let out a sigh of resignation. Then he finally spoke to Kinzu as the letter swirled his glass. Yeah, well. It doesn't really narrow it down, does it? <laughs> they already play chess here. 
It doesn't help me because I don't know chess rules. I'm too stupid for chess. Okay, okay, okay. We have an image. We have an image. It doesn't help me at all. Nanjo's gaze was directed at a side table with a massive chess set placed on top of it. And judging by the positioning of the pieces, the game seemed to be entering its final stage. Lex, Rook, and Bishop were cutting deeply into enemy lines. Were they? Wait. I see the bishop. Is the rook the horse? Is the rook the horsey? White kings had already been castled and coroned so that even an amateur could see that the match would reach its conclusion before too long. No, I don't think this is the actual image. Every time Nanjo came to give a medical examination, both of them would make a few moves. Rook is tower. Okay, so this, yeah. Okay, so this is actually not what they were talking about. Okay. Nanjo was hinting that Kinza would most likely fall into his eternal sleep before this game could be concluded. These were less the words of a physician than they were the words of an old friend. Oh yeah, also this this place like in 19... what was this? 1980? Something like this? 1985? 1990? Something around that time, I think. <laughs> what is Will? Hmm. Oh yeah, his family is great. We will also encounter his family later on. His family is awesome. He has the best family ever. Totally no vultures. Mm -hmm. Also, is it okay to read this? Ho ho. So I think these are the voices that they also use for the anime. I'm not sure. It's been a while. Does he have regrets? Does he? Oh yeah, you also need to know this dude, he's stacked. He's super rich. This guy is super rich. うん。うん。受け継いでほしいことや伝えたいことだと。で、he <laughs> Is the Hadakai, does that mean the naked? I was born naked and I will die naked, is that it? <laughs> he hates his kids. <laughs> this guy's like, nope. <laughs> ah. Is he, he's literally God. Ah. <laughs> this dude. Is this how rich people feel like? Is <laughs> that just how they feel like? I fuck them. Oh, this guy. Okay. Okay, I think he's cuckoo. Mm. This guy is cuckoo. <laughs> Probably like everyone in the room is like, the fuck is he talking about? After reaching a furious crescendo, Kinzo suddenly slumped over. The expression was limp and feeble, as though an evil spirit had possessed him and then left. <sighs> huh? hmm. Ah no, you write it down, I'm rich. 
だが万一の時残されたものがそれを引き継いでくれる、うん、自分に万一があっても必ずその心残りが解決できるように残していく、うん、それが遺言というものです He's actually explaining to him what a will is When Nanja tried to gently pet Kinzo's shoulder, the dying man flew into sudden rage and battered away in Nanja's head. He's like, yeah. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> Have a nice day. Domina! <laughs> this guy does have Chunibyo. Ah. <laughs> だから全ては私が生きているうちでなければならぬ。そのようなものを書く暇があったなら。いや、then、ね、もう。ベアトリーチェ <laughs> ああ、ベアトリーチェ。なぜに私をこれほどまでにこばむのか。今こそお前に与えられた全てを返そう。ベアトリーチェ。ベアトリーチェ。ベアトリーチェ。ベアトリーチェ。ベアトリーチェ。
Let's go, Booba. I was doing stuff, but now I got your attention. Well, too late. Although I think, I think there will be Booba soon again, right? October fourth. Oh, it was nineteen eighty-six. Okay, okay, okay. The first day it was nineteen eighty-six. Oh no, this is the airport scene. <laughs> oh, that's Bedlar. Who in their right minds? Names the kid Bettler. <laughs> never spoilers, never assumed the booba will show itself again. Exactly! I couldn't help but scratch my head and marvel at how far things have come in recent years. We used to go by boat. Back then, we were all forced to endure nearly half a day of swaying back and forth over the sea before we reached Nijima. Things have gotten so much more convenient these days. Yeah, 1986, guys, so much more convenient. Still, I've never been on a plane this small. They didn't even have smartphones. I've flown in a huge jumbo jet before, but this will be my first experience in such a tiny one. It's gonna shake, isn't it? They say smaller... <laughs> I almost read it as smaller boobs. <laughs> they say smaller boats shake more than... <laughs> you could read it with they say smaller boobs shake more than big ones, so I guess the small room probably applies to planes. Ah, just spare me. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's, he's even laughing at my joke. <laughs> he's laughing at my joke, guys. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Physics say otherwise, but I agree with the thought behind the statement. You do? Okay. <laughs> also, do you notice on the left guy, the left one's Bettler? Look at the cross. It's upside down. Bettler, why is your cross upside down? This <laughs> guy. <laughs> Wasn't it like there's more people who die by shark attacks than by crash planes, or what was it? It's the Antichrist. Ah, oh, he might be. Wait, Big Booba Girl will arrive soon, right? Oh, that's cute. Oh. Maybe this is a Noros? <laughs> and then he when when he will get some alcohol, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh <laughs> That is so weird. Why would you drink for business? Oh, I see. <laughs> think Bettler is 18 years old. I'm not sure. I can't really remember. I think he's 18. Is the legal drinking age 21 in Japan or is it 18? Maybe he's 17. He's a minor, wait, let me. Check. Wait, we can save first. Oh, we don't have any info on him yet. We don't have any info on him yet. No, okay, we can't check. Okay. Don't you know alcohol can stunt the growth of the growth of what? Of what? I don't know. That doesn't tell me anything, Rubik's. <laughs> I don't know what an enum is. <laughs> is it the year? Hmm. Wait, it can stunt the growth of what? The brain? The brain? Is it the brain? <laughs> He's taller than this guy. I puffed my chest out proudly. Okay, until I hit my growth spurt, my hate was below average in my class. But then I grew and grew, and before I knew it, I'd passed 180 centimeters, 5 feet and 11 inches. 
they even converted it. I guess I have all that muscle training and those shady mail order performance enhancing drugs to thank for the guys. Don't get those shady mail order performance enhancing drugs. Do not. Before then, I never dreamt that I'd shoot 10 centimeters above George Aniki, who'd reach his peak height early on. Damn, I'll bet my relatives all say, Look how big you've grown, Betla Chan, or something. It's also embarrassing. They obviously. No, guys, no, 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 don't believe Betler. <laughs> I wish they'd just give me a break. Anyway, my name Betler. Well, it's pretty damn weird, don't you think? Yes. I've got to wonder what my parents were thinking when they named me that. Yeah, especially because this is like a Japanese scenario, and then, then you hear it like Betler. <laughs> I've never met anyone who could read it right the first time. I mean, the other guy's also named George. <laughs> He's the messiah? Oh, that's why he's Bettler. I usually get called Sentokun. Is that how it... Maybe as a kanji for it? Oh! Sentokun because of battle. <laughs> because of battle. Sorry, but that's not even close. My name is written... Yeah, I can't read that. <laughs> can you read it? No. <laughs> no, can you read it, Shed? Where's Jeller? I can't read this. Where's Whitney? I can't read this. <laughs> the first part is my family name. Ushiromiya. Until where? Until where? Are the last two kanji battler? There's a fairly plausible Japanese pronunciation so far. Totally. The problem is my given name. Amenha is made up of the characters for fight and person. Oh yeah, I can read Hito. It's pronounced battler. Put it all together and you've got Ushiromiya battler. Pretty crazy, right? Yeah, guys, that's so crazy. It's crazy enough that my parents decided to call me that, but it's even more crazy that some government worker let them make it official. Yeah, that's like... You can't name your kids. What was it? Mercedes is still okay. What was my brother told me last time? There's some weird names that parents try to give their children. It's, it's just... Holy hell. Both groups are at the top of my must-kill list. Oh, 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 oh. In Minecraft, right? In Minecraft. Anyway, this is one of my cousins. His name is Hamanya Hamanya Ha, pronounced Ushiromiya George. That, that, the last two kanji are George? <laughs> He's five years older than me, so he must be turning 23 this year. So, Bettler is 18. Okay. Since the Ushiromiya cousins consist of two boys and two girls, I ended up playing with the George all the time. Because I've always thought of him as a big brother, I still call him Aniki today. <laughs> this guy. Oh, this guy is funny. I hate her. I hate her. She's a bitch, I hate her. Oh. I never had a growth spurt, guys. I never had one. When will I get one? When will I get one? I've always been small. In Sweden, it is illegal, illegal to name your baby IKEA. Oh god, imagine IKEA. All in caps lock. Ah. So, yeah. What? <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. Okay. Well, this, this is a little bit foreshadowing, isn't it? In Mexico and Sweden, it's also illegal to, illegal to name your kid Batman. What? But why also in Sweden? Mexico. Batman. <laughs> Yeah, everyone had no money. The stout plump old guy is George Aniki's dad, Uncle Hideyoshi. Hideyoshi! Sweden also does not like Superman. Wow, that's rude. He's the husband of dad's older sister. In other words, we are not blood related. He's nice to children, sociable all the time, and even quick to give out some spending money to his kids. Simply put, he's an awesome uncle. Kids, the battler, you're 18. 
He speaks an odd and very noticeable Kansai dialect, but he's actually a natural born Kanto man. What? Oh, it seems like okay, I guess. <laughs> Another fan of Batman was Superman. Apparently, impressions are everything in the business world. I don't like his beard. I totally don't like his beard, but he's a funny guy. Um, so speaking in a different style than other people is an egg that makes him stick out more. However, I hear he gets embarrassed when talking with an earshot of a real Kansai person, so he switches back to standard Japanese. I don't really get it, but he's definitely an interesting person. Yeah, he's funny. I hate her. I fucking hate that bitch. <laughs> the voice. Oh, the voice. Have you guys watched um, Higurashi? She's the voice actor of... What was that bitch's, na bitch's name? Mio? The blonde one. What's her name? Mio? Tama Tamako? What was her name? The blonde one. Ne. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Let's love. <laughs> Let's love. <laughs> Let's love. 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 let She's flirting. The old hag is flirting. The old hag is flirting. He's falling for it. He's falling for the old hag. He's falling for it. Don't fall for that bedla. Bedla kun. No, she's like, what, 30 years? 30 years older than you? I only played the game for a bit by the time you already had started watching the anime. Oh, I see. Yeah, Higurashi, when they cry. That's like the blonde, not the kid, um, the nurse. Taka, 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 something, something. I think it was Mio. That's the same voice actor. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Is, is she hitting on him? Lady. This is George Aniki's mother on Eva. She's my dad's older sister. She and Uncle Hideyoshi are a pair of jokers and they've always teased me back as far as I can remember. This sometimes made them a bit hard to get along with when I was small. Well, I guess the events of the last 30 seconds prove that they can still be hard to get along with. I mean, I mean, I mean, she's teasing that guy, that, that adolescent boy. Even so, George Aniki's family is interesting and fun, and they seem to get along just fine. Sheesh, that's pretty much the total opposite of my family. She's so cool! I love her! She's great! <laughs> All those names! <laughs> she has a really cool outfit, doesn't she? He's already, already chanting for him. He's pooping. He's pooping. His dad is pooping. <laughs> this is like what we do today, right? Just take our smartphone with us. Ah, those kind of magazines. I see Wing Wong, Wing Wong, those Winky Wonky magazines. Oh, that's <laughs> So, by the way, uh, she's his not real mom. <laughs> it's, it's not the real mom. 
<laughs> she's basically telling him, yo, Bettler, he doesn't look at porn magazines anymore since he has me and he has all the sex with me. Bettler's <laughs> 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 like, you call it a phone because you're usually not the small. Yeah. Oh, he wants to know the juicy details of his dad's sex life? What the fuck? Guys? <laughs> Guys? いいとかないとどういうことになるか。よくわかってるでしょ。え。いやいや、全く。え。なんかそうだ、パラペリアス。そういうの、得意なのよ。ここ、what as you can probably tell from our conversation, she's not my real mother. She's basically my stepmom. My real mom died six years ago and Kiria's son is the woman dad married afterwards. It's understandable for someone my age. I could never bring myself to call his new wife mom. My doctor feels like using the word son on this massive kid who's no relation to her at all. We're on little kids. We know there's nothing to be gained by fighting. Yeah, so it's fine to talk about that sex life. <laughs> so we decided that we wouldn't force ourselves to pretend that we were family. Decided to act a bit more frank with her, acting as though she's a friendly neighbor instead. It's much easier if we just keep a little distance instead of forcing ourselves to act all close and making each other uncomfortable. My voice is cracking. curious son has always been very open about all this and thanks to that we've been able to get along pretty well. And then just when we were bad-mouthing dad about being in the bathroom, the man himself came back, wiping his hands with a handkerchief. Mm. Uh, look at him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that voice? <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? Is he pinching his nipple? <laughs> oh, it's a Zia. <laughs> it's a Zia. <laughs> eh? なんでお前には父親に対する尊敬の念ってやつがわかるか。え、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと。え、ちょっと、ちょっと。え、ちょっと、ちょっと。え、ちょっと、ちょっと。え、ちょっと、ちょ
ルドルフおおあとでたっぷりキリエさんにお仕置きしてもらいなさいね I think he like like she probably physically abused him when he was a child I don't know <laughs> おやおや弟いじめもいいとこだぜおやおやキリオシ兄さんもこんな姉貴を拾ってくれて本当にありがとうございます。Now it's the two cousins left that we're missing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. 兄さんの寛大さがなかったら、今でもまだ売れ残ってますよ。And I bet Shed will hate the youngest of them. 弟として申し訳ないです。うーん。誰が売れ残るって ?Oofed. Also, is that a tattoo? Did she actually tattoo the family crest on her upper arm? <laughs> What the fuck? Ooh. After taking two, three steps back on, Eva unleashed one of her beautiful high reverse roundhouse kicks. She stopped just a centimeter away from the tip of dad's nose. Whoa, she's a martial artist. <laughs> nice one, Anoros. <laughs> Uh, the crest belongs on her. I see. After starting out with Tai Chi Chuan for a figure, on Eva then de developed an interest in the Chinese martial arts. For that, she went through karate, taekwondo, capoeira, and what it is she's learned now again? Well, anyway, they say a woman's weapons are in her lower body, and that's literally true for Eva. Ah. 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 <laughs> Betla? No. <laughs> nope, that doesn't work. <laughs> Rudolfu! Oh, she's like, Chad! So, Ktobu Chokuniki dato, Ipat de Conto Sriwayo. Oh, God. No, I da envy the missite. I cut a hour for each other and the coronet. She's dangerous. Poor Norris. Poor Norris. Ask Seno Arianaki de Conto ni Mosuakinitis. Like a freak? They're completely unfazed, shrugged, and smiled, and uh, ironically at Uncle Hideyoshi. Wahahaha. 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 もう常時君も立派な大人になって手も早いから。おいおい。言われてくるこの苦労も考えてやれよ。よくこの昭和ある姉貴から生まれて常時君はあんなにもまっすぐ育ってくれたもん。わあ、this <笑> Oi, 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 he just called Betla dumb. So, Nakoto Naiwayo Ebanesa no Kyoikuga Machinate Nakatakara, Georgikuma, Anani Snow, Naiko Nata Nakara. Eh, this you ne, Nessa? Eh, Ara, Ara, so na. Wait, cause she was like, Yo, yo, kid, I will beat you up if you don't do this or that. And that's why he's gentle. What? But he's so proper. So, 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 Ah, should have just brought the kid along, vomiting on everyone else. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's so the children don't like the father, and the father is like, fuck the rest of my family. Oh boy, everyone is sitting on each other. Mm -hmm. 
And once the conversation suddenly veered off in the direction we kids didn't have any chance of butting in. For now, I'm just happy Aunt Eva gave Dad his, Dad his just deserves for tugging on my ear. It's fine. George Aniki pointed at the counter. The checking weather sign was still stuck next to the departure times for the flight we were scheduled to board. According to Aniki, smaller planes are more subject to winds and other effects of the weather. It's not all uncommon for flights to be delayed because of that. Wait a sec, we are totally sure it's not gonna shake, right? From down here on the ground, it just looks cloudy, not windy. Well, I guess it's different up when the plane flies. Oh, On Eva looked at the TV in the launch. The weather forecast was being broadcasted, informing us that a typhoon was approaching the country region. Let's go! Let's go! Oops. Yeah, just, just make it the summer. I don't know. Yeah, see? Oh, 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 yeah. Everyone's like, nope, nope. They're all scared. <laughs> They're all fucking scared. Oh my god. Just go to the freaking island. She's like, I'm the older sister. You said it. <laughs> She's like, nope, I'm the older sister. Fuck you. See? <laughs> How old are they? Like 40 or 50? They've been going on like this for all those years. Oh boy, she's violent. <laughs> wink, wonk. Wink, wonk. Dad and Aunt Eeyore's argument look no different from a couple of brats quarreling. Kudan ドゥドゥドゥドゥドゥ。冷静に分析できる<笑> I will fall off my chair soon. <laughs> yeah, they too comfortable. George Aniki stretched his head and laughed as though trying to hide his embarrassment. Of course, he was just being humble. Aniki entered a university and became an apprentice at Uncle Hideyoshi's company at the same time, studying both academics and how to become a business emperor in parallel. A business emperor, Chad. Then right after grad grad graduating, he got into Uncle Hideyoshi's company as his father's AD, piling up a lot of real-life experience as he devoted himself zealously to his work. His great dream is to one day stand on his own and build up his own kingdom. Uh-huh. Aniki is a real paragon of a man, sparing no effort as he strives towards his goal. It's no exaggeration to say that I really respect him. E. And then there's me. I'm nothing at all like Aniki. I'm living my happy-go-lucky idle high school life to the max. I mean, that's what you should be doing, right? I've got no dreams for the future, huh? I like to just sit back, stay cool, and let the money flow in, but of course that could never happen. When Aniki was my age, she had already formed an impressive object, 
objective and had started devoting himself towards studying for that goal. So I guess I can't compare at all. My dad just says, sure, you can study at my company if you like, cleaning toilets. <laughs> Damn it, I'm not gonna be in the depth of the dog bastard. I find my way myself. Only willpower was all it took to become an adult. Should I go one of those self-searching journeys that are all the rage these days? Well, it's not like I could mooch off my parents for that kind of money. Right then, Uncle Hideyoshi shouted out loudly. He's a really nice person on the whole, but he does have a problem controlling the volume of his voice. Oh, like me! <laughs> when I looked over, I saw that he was greeting on Rosa, who had come late. Oh no! And here comes the mom with the most annoying kid ever. Oh boy, I bet Chet will hate Maria. Oh no. There we go. Ooh. Also, um, 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 Rosa Sun's voice actor. Have you watched Code Pizza? Uh, Code Yes. That one is the green haired one. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, wait, how old was she? Eight or nine? I think she was eight or nine. Does it does it say the age thingies now? Let me quickly say. Oh, it doesn't yet. But soon it will, I guess. Let me see. Oh, it also doesn't say the age. No, it doesn't. Oh, well. Ooh, she, she does this all of the time. おっと、あれ <laughs> What the hell? Oh, Rosa. Oh, yeah, her name's Rosa, not Rosa. Come in, I say. They shall not sit to Oh, boing boing. Maria-chan parroted Uncle Hideyoshi's question, looking up at her mother. Guess she doesn't remember her own height. It's probably right in the middle of a growth spurt, so her height must change every month. Give it a few more years and she'll suddenly start looking feminine. Yo, butler, what the fuck? Nee. <laughs> Oh, nine! She's already nine! Oh god! Oh god! Even my little niece can speak a little bit better than you, like almost. So, that's right. You were too heavy. Oof, don't tell that to lady. Exactly. Nope. 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 <laughs> Look at Maria's face. When I went to lift her up in Aniki's place, Maria stiffened defensively, staring suspiciously at my face. Ah, oh, that's right. 
The last time I met Maria it was six years ago and she was only three years old. Because she doesn't remember my face. Oh, uh, it's the little cousin. I was about to say is the um, youngest one of all the bunch. She's not. But for the cast right now, she is. Was three. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we do. She must know everyone's face apart from mine because she meets them every year, but I haven't had contact with the Shuromiya family for about six years now. So it's not surprised that this nine-year-old girl doesn't have any memories of me. Even I can only just barely remember her being a three-year-old crybaby. Maria. Oh boy. The brother's the son. Hmm. <laughs> please let me perish. <laughs> that Usa was probably her brain going into overload at that complicated explanation. I guess the phrasing of that was a bit confusing. Ni or Oni, the title you'd use to refer to an actual older brother, can also be a friendly honorific, hon honorific for a boy who's only a bit older than you. Just like Ne or One, the word for big sister. No perishing in Oros. Oh yeah, she can understand it better like this. <laughs> dot dot dot. Yeah, I have to press all the dots. I have to press all the dots, Chad. <laughs> she's probably like, the fuck is that name? This part of Aniki is what makes me really look up to him. For someone who isn't married, he's just great at dealing with kids. I'm sure he'll be an indulgent father in the future. Maria looked straight at me with a questioning expression as though asking whether it was okay to call me that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, totally close enough. <laughs> He's going into battle. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> we horse around for a while to make up for the six year gap in our friendship. Probably still thinks of me as nothing more than a big new friend, but thanks for our work, Aras, we get to know each other again. But I'm surprised. It's just the way I remember her being six years ago. Yeah, like... Maybe she has, like, a deficit. Like, uh, what's it called? Maybe she's, like, not the fastest learner. Seems that people just don't change that much after all. I would happy that she's still the pure innocent girl I remember. Name is written... It looks like cross. Of course, Hamana is pronounced Maria. Yeah, of course it is. The third character looks like a cross, which is pretty cool. See, it's a cross. Her feelings don't usually show up on her face, so it can be difficult to know what she's thinking. But that's how she looks on the inside. Oh, wait. Maybe she has a kind of autism. Maybe she's on the spectrum. That could be. On the inside, on the inside, she's just a sweet, normal girl. Could be, yeah. Then there's Maria's mother, Aunt Rosa. She's my dad's younger sister. Rosa's written, of course it is. Here's a name that's totally not Japanese. Sorry to say it, but her name's almost as ridiculous as dad's. I mean, Rudolf, Bettler, Maria, Rosa. I've got to respect her for not ending up as screwed up as he is. When I think about it, all the names in my family sound foreign. But so why is grandfather so obsessed with that? Because of him, even we grandchildren have to put up with this weird naming sense. 
It's even more annoying since grandfather's own name is perfect to normal Kinzo. <laughs> anyway, there's one thing about Old Rosso that's a relief compared to the other family members. The old bastard and odd Eva have this annoying urge to tease and mock people all the time. But even though she shares the blood, Old Rosso isn't like that at all. Just the most common sense among all the siblings. Like Uncle Hideyoshi, she's a kind aunt who'll always be on the kid's side. <laughs> However, possibly because she's more strict as a parent, she's not liberal with handing out spending money like Uncle Hideyoshi. Okay, now we have the entire group of family members who are going on board to the plane. At that moment, as though it had waited for us all to arrive, an announcement rang out through the lobby. Let's go! カウンター前の白線前に2列でお並びください。オッケー。ローザ。登場手続きまだだろ。急げ急げ。パッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッパッ
Yeah, I don't remember them being on a plane. Oh, Kawabata-san. Dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu-dubidu
From there on, we would be taking a boat to the island. The islands are right next to each other, so the distance of the trip wasn't that great. The boat was literally 30 minutes to the island. When we reached the pier where the boat to the island was anchored, we saw a figure waving at us. Is it Jessica? Jessica? It is Jessica! Ah, it's been so freaking long! He's great. He's like, whoa, she has booba. Ah, uh, she he has also lost Sino you know, like six years ago, right? Botula? We both stared at each other. She definitely didn't look like that in my memories, but I do remember her crazy way of talking. <laughs> this guy. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? She's your cousin! Her <laughs> <laughs> person would definitely stay in my mind. <laughs> Exactly her personality, yeah. What the fuck? Oh, 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 she was born under the same unlucky star as me, sharing the same kind of weird name. I wouldn't say Jessica's a bad name. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? He's like, Jessica's the same as Battler? His dad's older brother's daughter. That older brother happens to be the oldest son of the Yoshiromiya family, so for now it means Jessica's the direct family heir. Since Jessica and I are the same age and sometimes had little boy girl squabbles with each other, we've always been used to fighting and joking around together whenever the relatives gather. It's probably bad if you try to read it from the con- Ah, probably, yes. Jessica grew more quickly, so she always had me beat in terms of size and physical strength. We scuffled in contests of strength that usually went Jessica's way. So even though I realized I'd grown bigger, part of my mind was still convinced that I couldn't beat Jessica. Wait, he can actually beat her now. <laughs> In another area? Yes, that she is. まあ、それはそうだよな。俺が腕につけた分の肉を。お前は胸につけたんだもんな。あ、うーん。<笑><笑> Honestly, I was so surprised at how feminine Jessica had become that I had to joke around like an idiot to hide it. Well, considering what a bossy brat she was six years ago, anyone would be surprised. And I guess she's just as surprised. She probably wasn't expecting to lose to me in a test of strength. After losing that easily, she must be shocked at how much I've grown in the past six years. Six years. 
Once again, I'm being shown just what a huge gap of time that was. Wait, do we have her in the thingy here now? Yeah, there she is. There she is. And then we're missing these servants here. I think this is where Kinzo is. No, wait, Kinzo's here. Wait, who's there then? I'm not sure. She was born with a weak bronchi and is sometimes assailed by sudden asthma attacks. What? Uh, her father's identity is unknown. Catching on the habit of speaking like a young child, which often earns her scolding. She has no interest in studying or studying or making friends, but is very interested in things concerning the occult and black magic. Thanks to her excellent powers of memorization, she knows all kinds of obscure trivia. Oh, maybe she is actually on the spectrum. I think she might be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, hide. Ne, Maria chan. Oh. <laughs> oh, Chiru. Oh,チル。<laughs> <laughs> 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 But I thought he couldn't handle like any transportation like a dragon slayer. So will the boat be also like this? Damn. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you support him in his endeavors by touching Booba? At the time, I didn't get what Aniki meant by that big smile. <laughs> God damn it, Rubix. Who is it this time? It's an old lady with an apron. Oh, oh yeah, that takes me back. I remember now. I'll see. お手伝いの熊沢さんだよ。うん。熊沢のばあちゃんは忘れねえぜ。何しろこの<笑><笑><笑> God has forsaken you long ago. I'm so sorry, Rubix. Kumasawa-san. ご冗談。ええ、俺が揉みたいのはピチピチした姉ちゃんの胸限定だぜ。あん。私とて若い日にはそれはピチピチしておりましたよ。what is going on? Oh god! I remember how cringy the first episode was. Oh my fucking hell! This episode was full of cringe! The jokes that cracked about Jessica were being turned against me. Come to think of it, Kumasawa has always been the type to tease people. Oh god. Just imagine an old lady coming to you and like, you wanna fondle my booba? Oh god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> どういう風の吹き回しかしら。用事を頼まれるといつも腰痛になるあなたが。え? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> On Eva spoke sarcastically, but Kumasawa Bachan's use of experience were nothing to sneeze at. She was more than capable of smoothly and coolly deflecting that comment. Well, it feels bad to say it, but old Kumasawa Bachan may be past her prime as a servant. She might act as though she's in good health, but between the headaches and her lumbago, her body's wearing out. To tell the truth, the very fact she's still working is impressive. How old is she this year again? She must be pushing 80 at least. It's incredible that she's still able to act so serially. Oh god, that's old as hell. Yay! When Rosa took a souvenir bag out from a suitcase, the thing that she remembered a promise that she'd apparently made last year and faithfully bought it. This sort of thoughtfulness was just like Aunt Rosa. She wasn't the kind of person who would forget or break a promise. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Goddammit, Rubix. Rubigza. Sing. 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 もう今度は怖くないぜ。波で揺れるのは慣れてるしな。あの、本ボロ漁船の場合、揺れて怖いってより、エンジンがぶっ壊れて漂流するんじゃねえかって方が怖いぜ。うーん、デンジャーシェ
Oh, he didn't do the whoa! I was waiting for the whoa! <laughs> Let's go! Then they will go like what ten knots? <laughs> oh God! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, she got a vomit too? Okay, I thought, I thought she's gonna vomit too. Oh, poor butler. Poor baby. With the war, 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 the there's like gigantic honk of a donkos on the island. Works with babies? <laughs> I see. There's giant honk of a donkos on the island. What was her name again? The maid? Like, holy hell. So after I made a huge fool of myself for a while, Aunt Rosa had to talk with the boat captain and he slowed down to a more manageable speed for me. Should I make it like a little bit low? Let me make it like like this. Turning to the max speed, I can tolerate extremely slow. But that just now was completely insane. The whole boat was shaking, sliding and leaping on the ocean surface. It felt like I was riding on the back of a flying fish. Jessica was still guffawing at me as I leaned against the railing, tired and disheartened. <laughs> She's gloating. <laughs> She's gloating. She's <laughs> Excuse me, what? And then your boobs will be mine to squish? Oh God, this is so cringe. The first episode is so cringe. <laughs> Hearing that from a nine year old, ooh. Oh, you wouldn't die in the sky if you were on the plane. You would die on the ground, <laughs> Battler. <laughs> Maria was petting my back, so I pet her head in return. The expression was blank as usual, but I realized that she wanted to console me. Oh no, will she laugh again? God, I bet she will laugh again. Yes, one water, please. George Aniki and Kumasa Kumasawa Bachan brought us all ice cold cans so soft drinks cover the What? Judging from Kumasawa san's big grin, our parents inside the boat were probably all rolling around laughing at my moment of pure terror. Wait, so when I use the stick. Ah, it also works when I use the stick on my controller. Damn it, I'm so embarrassed. I can't bear to face any of them. I didn't change the subject. Somehow I had the feeling I'd be the butt of everyone's jokes for the whole trip, so I tried to think of something harmless to talk about. あ、ジェシカ。クラウソジさんと夏おばさんは元気なのか。クラウソ。おやしとおふくろ残念だから元気だぜ。ふたと
そういうこと言わなそうだから羨ましいぜ昔ねえよとんでもない僕も受験を控えてた頃はいっつも受験受験って言われてたようるさくも思ったけど今は感謝してるよ I hope you're not yet asleep guys But we have like eight more hours to go. <laughs> we have eight more hours of the prologue to go. Okay, so that's where we're at. Okay, so that's where we're at. Okay, so Oh, yeah, they still haven't explained why he hasn't, like, come back for the past six years. Yeah, I think that's. That's when his mom died, I think. Only Maria, who couldn't really have grasped the situation, voiced this naive question. However, the others just shot nervous glances at me, choosing not to respond, even though they knew the answer. Maria! Apparently, Jessica was trying to be nice by changing the subject. Ah, well. I'd rather not talk about it if I can't help it, but it's uncomfortable to have it treated like some kind of weird taboo. I don't mind it that much myself anymore. I may be a member of the Ushiromiya family, but the truth is that for the last six years, I've been living with my grandparents on my late mother's side, and I've even been using her family name. When those grandparents passed away one after the other, I basically had no choice but to go back and live with the old bastard. Whoa! It's super effective! Don't get me wrong. I didn't just run away from home or anything like that. The only one at fault here is my dad. I don't really blame Kiria son. Being able to hold that old bastard's re reins and ride him out is no man feed. Still, the way that old bastard. <laughs> I'm betrayed my mom. Well, unfortunately, I still haven't fully gotten over that. <clears throat> George Aniki cleared his throat, trying to change the subject. Oh, Oh, he's just happy go lucky. Oh, 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 oh. Kumasawa san seemed to regret speaking out of turn. I was more concerned about being worried over for something like that, so I stood up and passed it off lightly. After that, I had a sip of my drink and headed over to Maria and Jessica, who were gazing at the silhouette of the island. Also, it looks like rain's coming. I mean, how could the island change? You could build more houses on it, but other than that. <laughs> I see the pier, that's it. The small island silhouette in front of us had gone pretty close. This island's name is Rokenjima. It's a small island about 10 kilometers around, located in the Izu Archip Archipelag. Ar 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 Yes, that one. Since they call this arc mm -hmm, the ESO 7, lots of people think there are only seven islands. And that's not true. There's actually several more. Rokonjima is one of the minor islands that don't get counted. Even if that weren't the case, I doubt you'd find many people who knew about this island. Only people connected to the Ushiromiya family ever go there. In other words, outsiders and tourists never have any reason to care about it. So you'll never find this island name in a travel brochure. After all, all of Rokenjima is an estate possessed by the Ushiromiya head family. Only the Ushiromiya family lives there and only people connect to the Ushiromiya family. <laughs> and they're mocking me because I can't pronounce this word. 
There's nothing there except a harbor and a mansion. The vast majority of the island is still just uncultured, unconscious, <laughs> uncultivated forest. Such a waste when it could be made into a nice golf course or something. However, when you realize that the entire coastline is a private beach, it starts to sound pretty magnificent. That's really cool. I would want to have a private beach. Probably guess by now, but to put it simply, well, the Oshiromia family is just rolling in dough. Yeah, I told y'all, they are fucking rich. The Ed family apparently possesses a vast fortune. And Dad and the others who make up the branch families have built up plenty of wealth for themselves, finding success in their respective businesses. I've been living in Commoners' life at my grandparents' home these six years, so I've completely forgotten. You forgot, guys! But the old bastard's house really is elegant and everything about it is tuned to match the snobbish taste of the annoyingly rich. Come to think of it, I guess that makes George, Aniki, Jessica, Maria and me wealthy, high-class gentlemen and ladies. Needless to say, none of us think of ourselves that way at all. I don't see myself as being rich and George Aniki, who takes self-discipline very seriously, doesn't let himself get too comfortable. Jessica is always complaining that she'd rather move to the city than be rich. And Maria is still a kid who isn't even interested in money at all. Does that attitude really make us any less snobbish? From the perspective of people in power poverty who can't pay the bills, we really have been blessed with a lot. This isn't the place to explain any further, so I won't. Anyways, the same as not being able to choose the parents you're born from. I didn't ask to be born into a rich family, and I don't think it's really something to be envied. Yeah, that's what the rich people can say, right? That's what the rich people can say. It can be pretty trying when people are prejudiced, pre prejudiced against you just because you're rich and you refuse to judge you by your merits. As I pointed out these sentimental thoughts, Maria started shouting and leaned over the railing. Fall! 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 Who? Huh? Maria? No. Eh? Oh, Maria. the birds! Wait, we don't hear birds, do we? Is it the birds? No, never mind. It's not the birds. I thought it were the stupid birds. Okay. Maria kept yelling, gone, gone. At first it sounds as though she had dropped something, but while she shouted, she also pointed out over the ocean. Is it the birds? Is it the birds? Because I don't hear birds. What? If she dropped something, she would probably have looked down at the floor, but Maria was pointing out over the ocean. I would assume by the gestures that she had spotted something, but she kept saying that something wasn't there. Strange. However, since my last memories of this place came from six years ago, I was able to spot it before Aniki who comes here every year. Oh, okay. So there was a little shrine here. Oh. Wait, is there any more? Yeah, that's ね。僕も思い出したよ。真珠の社と鳥みたいなものが岩の上にポツンと立ててあったよ。Wait, what does it mean? What are these stories good for? Is it like a protection thingy? What is that? ちょねは確かにあったと思う。Oh boy, she doesn't like that. Oh,かた。波か何かで皿割れちまったんだろ。小さい岩だったしな。だいぶ風化で脆くなってたんだろうさ。うん。私もそうだと思ってるんだけどよ。Oh wait, she hasn't even noticed. She lost on that island. なくなっちゃったのはこの夏のことなんだよ。あ、オッケー、オッケー、オッケー、ネバーマイ。なんでもよ。お、ある晩に大きな稲妻が落ちて、お社を砕いてしまったんだ。神主様に落雷があるなどこれは不吉の兆しに違いないとおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおおお
the correct housing the shrine god was supposed to be. Ding dong. <laughs> what, what does Spartan mean, Jen? <sighs> what does Spartan mean? Yoseo Kumasawa san. Maria was so you, Jordan, no Tuesday night to Shiboro Nanda Karaso. Oh, she takes it seriously, okay. Okay. George Aniki put a hand on Maria's shoulder to calm her down. Maria's sharp eye expression didn't waver. Uh oh. They sure have enough dough with all those buns and cakes that have. God freaking damn it, Rubix! Maria muttered that word over and over. Finally repeating a single word over and over as a habit that Maria's had for a long time. Yeah, see? I think she's actually on the spectrum. I never noticed before, huh? I guess I was too dumb for that to realize it. <laughs> Ever since the word she was saying was literally an ill omen, it was a bit creepy. Oh boy. Oh, I mm, yeah. Maria. You can make a bad pun. <laughs> yeah, if you can make a bad pun, then you're there. <laughs> I tapped Maria's other shoulder. Maria whipped her head around, stared into my face, and spoke unblinkingly. Eh? Eh? She learned a new word, she did. Misfortune. Oh, little misfortune is gonna come! One day, we'll be sure to be the best dad with all those bad puns. Oh god, oh god. My brother's also making all those bad puns. <laughs> I also lightheartedly trying to break the tension in the air. At that moment, Maria held up a finger, raised her arm high, and pointed up to the heavens. When I looked up, I saw the sky was still just as cloudy, but it had grown a great deal more leaden than it had been that morning. That's right, they were saying that a typhoon was approaching. We had planned to spend one night on the island, but if the storm doesn't pass quickly, I won't be able to make it to school on Monday. Well, I guess it makes for a pretty good excuse to be absent. Ooh, so let's quickly save here because we haven't saved in a while. Thank you. you apparently sense some kind of misfortune in this cloudy sky. He's been muttering that nonstop for a while now. Girls of Maria's age tend to be very impressionable. It's just about the age that many girls start to get excited about six senses and whether they have any psychic potential and stuff. Shuni, yo, let's go! For all we know, this might be due to her childish, sensitive nature. Ah, uh, we will soon encounter a big Hong Kong Kong. <laughs> きれいな青空。うん。さあ、明日になれば綺麗な青空になるよ。Will <笑> Oh god. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that actually Hanyu? The one that voiced Hanyu in um, Higurashi, I think. Arya started yelling, ooh ooh. It looked as though she was having a tantrum because no one could understand what she was trying to say. What in the world was Maria trying to so desperately to warn us about? Unable to understand her, we couldn't help but feel a vague sense of misfortune. Not that everyone can feel the supernatural, but that it weakens as you age. It might mean that Maria, the youngest one of us all, still possessed some kind of sense that the rest of us had lost. I wonder if that sense is sending her a warning. At that moment, Kumasawa-san quietly opened her mouth. Oh. Oh. 
ロッケン島はその昔おおー熊沢さんおおその話はなしにしようぜあ、ジェシカスロベットライクミオン was it ミオンシオンミオン like ミオン from Higurashi This is Kumasawa-san was about to tell some kind of story Jessica sharply interrupted her. Jessica's tone was extremely firm for her. I wanted to push her further just out of simple curiosity. But judging by the look on Jessica's face, whatever kumasawa Bastian was likely to say would probably make Maria even more uneasy. But I tried to press her for the story. The odds were pretty good that it wouldn't be anything bright and cheery. Oh, 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 As he derived mid conversation, he completely failed to notice the complicated atmosphere that hung about the scene. So he refreshingly and unwittingly swept that atmosphere aside. So, in the end, it was his lack of tech that brightened the mood. Let's go! Just a bit more towards those big, gigantic honk of donkers. Yeah, man, battler. <laughs> Everyone in this family likes to laugh. <laughs> that face! Maria probably thought that everyone was refusing to listen to her. She hung her head, wearing a fretful expression. She did judge Aniki crouched down to meet her eye. Spoke to her kindly. Maria chan, Nani mo kwa kunai yo. Date, Bok tachi ga isho da mono. Oh no. Isho da to, Nani mo kwa kunai da yo. Ah, the foreshadowing. The foreshadowing. Oh, isho da to, Nani mo kwa kunai. Hmm, isho da to, Nani mo kwa kunai. So, sir, Foreshadowing. <laughs> 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 Maria jumped into George Aniki's arms and hugged him tightly. After Aniki patted her head, she jumped away again. Facial expression had undergone a 180 degree change, turning back to normal. It was once again the ordinary Maria. Ooh. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> the harbor was already drawing near. Rondo of the Witch and Reasoning. Alright, that was a thingy. That was a thingy. The boat gave a big shudder. Seems we've docked at the harbor. The boat driver came out and jumped to the pier with a mooring rope. 
The large man in a tuxedo was waiting there for us with a warm smile. I didn't recognize his face, but judging by his clothes, I guess he was a servant of the Uroshiromiya head household. Is it Genji? Never mind. You have a big nose, sir. Look at his big hand and then at Jessica's small hand. Holy hell, this guy's a giant. <laughs> At this rate, word spread to the whole family and Albert the big conversation piece during dinner. Even without this, everyone will be talking about me because of that six year gap. And now I've given them an even juicier topic. Damn it, why does the Hiroshiromiya head family have to live on this isolated island? <laughs> yeah, this guy's like, I hate everyone. Like, uh, the head of the family kin, so... In the meantime, the boat had finished its mooring. The small plane was lowered so that we could get down. One by one, our parents came up from inside the boat. Oh,どうぞ。ありがとう。お久しぶりね。ゴーダさんも元気。ゴーダさんの芸。ありがとうございます。おかげさまで。毎日元気にお勤めをさせていただいております。おお、ガール、I what is that about his hide? Magiremo Nakshotaiman does it. He appeared here now. You heard the little jingle thingy? He appeared here now. There we go. There we go. Is that one? This is Canon, Canon and Shannon. I don't know who that one was. Why? Don't, don't. Hmm. 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 Look, everyone's so happy. And in about eight hours, everything will go to shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Gorosan then lent a hand to everyone as they disembarked, greeting them as they passed. The speech and mannerisms had the refined polish of a professional. He was very graceful in contrast with his initi initially tough looking appearance. His large size made him seem a bit scared at first, but he was much more polite than my first impression had led me to believe. So, see, so he's a gigantic teddy bear, is he? He claimed that he had served on the island for two years, but he had dubbed his work at a similar job somewhere before. Everybody disembarked, the mooring rope was untied, and the boat started to steer away from the harbor. It's probably returning to its home port of Nijima. Captain waved his hand in farewell. Maria conscious. Con, 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 what? Conscious. Conscious. Her handbag. Help! Help! Too many big words. It? See, I told y'all it's the stupid birds. Stupid birds, the sea birds, stupid sea birds. If I remember correctly, whenever we came to this island in the past, the seagulls always greeted us with a lively nya nya cry. Nya? <laughs> what? What kinds of seagulls live there? Because it's the umi nekos, the sea cats, nya nya? 
<laughs> because of that, whenever I hear the cries of seagulls anywhere else, I get the feeling that I'm coming to a family conference. Except for the small part of the island where those of the Oshiromiya had family left. Kenjima has been left uncultivated, which apparently makes it a paradise for wild birds. Supposedly there was a cliff somewhere that housed a huge seagull colony, so this island was always full of seagulls. Not having those seagulls here to greet us made me feel a bit lonely. Aww, Butler-kun. He's lonely. What happened, Butler-kun? Oh, Rosa-kun. No, no. I don't hear the sound of the seagulls. I freaking hate seagulls. They're not Nemo's mine, mine. No, they're not the mine, 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 mine. They're nya, nya, nya. いつも賑やかなのに今日はさっぱりいないわねうんでのうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうんうん
I think I remember Aniki taking good care of me as well when I was a brat six years ago. Aniki, that's probably your gift. Wow. Like a teacher? <笑>私的にはそっちの方がいいさのイメージだぜ。<笑><笑> Ah, because of Anja? Never mind. Yeah, tell her lies. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Rosa winked at me, giggling a little. She's a real mother, I thought to myself. Was happy to see Maria having fun. Oh, Rosa! Why is the on in caps lock? <laughs> Why is the on in caps lock? Hi, hi. Oh, oh. The old bastard was waving for us to hurry up. Yeah, we need to get moving. We might as well have this conversation after setting our luggage down in our rooms. We're gonna meet the big boobers. Gora san called to everyone and led the way. Masawa-san brought up the rear. Oh, such a long climb. Oh god! I would be dead. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was, like, earlier I was training on my home trainer. I showed Windy, like, all of the stuff, the BPM. <laughs> and Windy was like, Sora, you were so close to a heart attack. I was like, Argh. A serpentine twisting path led through a dim forest. It ran a bit uphill. I guess the path was made all twisty so the slope wouldn't seem to steep. Personally, I'd have been happier if they'd had the guts to make some stairs in a straight line. Yeah, like, look at those stairs! No doubt they made the path twist on purpose to put on airs of distance and importance. <laughs> Just not a straight path, it's like, it's so long. For long, we saw garden style stone steps. Ah! From here on, I do have some memories. Go up these and... At the top of the stone steps, we saw a beautiful guest house. This facade was lovely, of course, but more importantly... We couldn't enter its doors without having our hearts stolen away by the... By the... <laughs> by the splendor of the beautiful rose garden spreading before it. <laughs> I like this track. After climbing the stone steps, the people greeted by this rose garden gave voice to their impressions one by one. Everyone's so happy right now. やっぱり夏があまり暑くなかった成果しろ。その性もあるかと思います。去年も先に比べると今年は少々見劣るのが残念です。Even so, it was a delightful rose garden. I remember that even six years ago, huge numbers of roses had greeted us every year. This rose garden was the first thing that greeted the people who came to Rokenjima. Even our parents who came every year couldn't help but give voice to their admiration. In fact, it seems to have undergone a power-up from the garden in my memories of six years ago. Yeah, rich people, guys. Rich people. Sure. Oh, we have a rose in front of our house. And then there's a rose in the garden. So, yeah. And we don't fucking take care of those. <laughs> they're just standing there and they're growing. <laughs> Maybe they weren't that resilient in 19... What was it? 86? Huh? Hmm? So, 
この人の場合はバラの方から虫を求めていっちゃうからどっちかというとたちの悪い食虫植物ってところねえああそういう話かよあー、uh, wait I didn't get it <laughs> <laughs> they didn't mean it literally. Ah, uh, they didn't mean it literally. What are all those sex jokes? Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 マリアちゃん、来てごらん。こっちのバラは特に立派だよ。バラが立派。<笑>うう。うん。かぐわしい匂いだぜ。俺のエレガントさにぴったりだな。What what kind of elegance, Butler? What? おいよさよ。マリアが真似してトゲで怪我するだろう。She yelled at me as I leaned into the smell of the rose scent with an exaggerated gesture. I thought she was overacting, but when I turned around, I saw Maria imitating my every gesture and George Aniki smiling broadly at us. Hora, Maria chan, kiyotskete. Bara no toge wo itai yo. Hmm. George Aniki chan, kono bara dake hen. Eh? Hmm. What? Hen? It? Wait, doesn't it have thorns? Maria pointed a single rose. I immediately understood why she found it odd. In the midst of all of these magnificent roses, one single rose was just starting to wilt. There wasn't any particular reason. Some roses flourish and others wilt. Well, there was to it, but Maria seemed very concerned about the only unhealthy one in the group. It must have, must have made her feel lonely. Oh, that's kind of sad. Why is the piano going so hard for no reason? I don't know. <laughs> It's probably because to show us how fun this all is here right now, because in a couple of hours everything will go to shit. Like, literal. Like, holy fucking hell. <laughs> we won't get to that part yet today, sadly, but yeah. This is so much harmony here. Everyone loves each, each other. No betrayals, no nothing. Aww. It seemed that Maria's pure, sen sensitive nature was making her feel some emotional pain for the rose that wilted alone. Even though she understood the logic of it, it still felt lonely to her. <laughs> Kinda sounds like that one track from Higurashi, actually. I mean, yeah! <laughs> I mean, yeah! <laughs> then Maria chimed. Oh. Oh, here, here we go again. We're, we're starting from the beginning of the track. But yeah, these tracks are freaking long. Some of them are like seven minutes long. And then the loop de loop. Can't see anything that can go wrong in the setting. Right? Like, you know, there's a typhoon coming, an island, which no one really knows about that it's inhabited. You know? An old geezer who's dying, who's like. Fuck everyone for my family. Fuck these guys. <laughs> George Aniki straightened up and fell around in his pocket. He then took out the wrapper from the candy he had been sucking on the plane. He twisted it into a thin string, then gently tied it to the rose as a sort of marker. Yeah, nice. Plastic on a flower. Let's go. 
お水とかをあげに来てごらんバラさんもきっと喜ぶと思うよ But there's so many awesome tricks in this game. Like, holy fucking shit. I think we won't get to these in episode one. I can't really remember. I don't think so. But I've been like bobbing my head when I played this. I was like, I was. Sure, give the rose a name. Let's go! Just name it Rose. Just like your mom. Your mom's Rosa. Name the Rose Rose. Though she still wore her usual solemn face, Maria crossed her arms and began to consider this intently. At the very least, she appeared to have been completely pulled out of, a, of her slump. Nice going, Aniki. Gosh, how, how many times will this tell? Like, yeah, yeah, he's good with children. Man, I'm waiting for the big booba. Exactly, Chad. Think positive. Mr. Soon to World Rose? Oof. Oof. Don't give the Rose that name. その方が心が安らかになるで。別にそんな意味じゃん。ただ私は昔の方が素敵だった庭園をあなたにも見て欲しかったなってだけよ。ああ。それでは皆様よろしいでしょうか。He but our hearts had been completely stolen away by the Rose Garden and none of us had seen for a year, so we didn't pay much attention to him. Since we weren't a travel group, it wasn't like we had a strict schedule to follow. Besides, since our parents were visiting their old home full of nostalgia, it wasn't like they had to let themselves be urged on by anyone or anything. Understanding the situation, goda san continued to wait, smiling wildly until our parents got tired of the roses and told them to guide us to our rooms. <laughs> Fuck the roses! Oh, where's Big Booba? Oh. Never mind, that's not Big Booba. Shannon, Sh wait, Canon is the boy, right? Shannon is the girl. Oh, he's he's a pretty boy. Uncle Hideyoshi suddenly shouted. Look at the pretty boy. Look at him. In the direction he was waving was a slender boy. Meeting him right after, right after a huge man like Goda probably emphasized his small stature. The boy was in the middle of transporting piled up gardening tools and the like in a wheelbarrow. When he realized he was being called to stop, he sat down the wheelbarrow, took his hat off and bowed his head. <sighs> I figured he was probably younger than me. Then I realized the general atmosphere sur surrounding him that he was another servant. I mean, I look at his clothes, please, peddler. He greeted us in response to Uncle Hideyoshi's call, but he seemed like he might be pretty unsociable most of the time. It's Lelouch! <laughs> no, not Lelouch! <laughs> it was a greeting that lacked feeling. When Gurasan noticed that our interest had shifted towards him, he went to the boy's side and introduced him to us. Matora-sama, no, fuck this. I am the servant. Yep, my first impression wasn't wrong. He seemed to be he seemed to be unsociable or at least not so good at talking. It's just like me! Compared to Goda san who was extraordinarily polished as a servant. He couldn't help but feel an inexperience typical of his age. 
And Gudason urged him in a whisper to give a bit more of an introduction. The boy named Kanan only cast his eyes down when he's like, Fuck! I just wanna work here! Let me get out of here, old man! Leave me alone! Kanon san! Yo, my job is only like to do some stuff, but not greet people. Fuck this. Yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> what? <laughs> he didn't seem to be refusing to greet us out of spite. Rather, he seemed to have fallen silent because he didn't know what else to say to in greeting. What? A servant is a third? Excuse me, what? Even though he wasn't exactly giving a terrible first impression, Jessica hurriedly backed him up. I see, if only his unsociable nature caused some trouble or what. Give him a pat on the bag. He's like, oh no, oh no, not this guy. I'm an introvert, you're an extrovert. Leave me the fuck alone. He felt silent as though wondering whether or not it was a question he'd have to answer. Here again, Jessica plowed ahead. Okay. It looked like he would have preferred not to tell us his age if given the choice. Eh? It was probably because he thought we looked down on him for it. I remember that when I was around his age, I hated being asked how old I was by adults. Aww. <laughs> I see, 16. Yep, sweet, sweet 16. It's gotta be a delicate uh, Bro, you're two years older. You're just two years older. Which means I probably asked something I shouldn't have. We should stream more VNs. You're a lot more fun to listen to. Wait, really? <laughs> really? No. It's only because I like Omineko. I'm like this when I play Xenoblade. <laughs> I'm tired as hell. Thank you. I'm just like a little bit of a feeling. Jessica looked panicky for some reason. She seemed to think my impression of Kanon was getting worse because of his refusal. Well, as a girl, Jessica probably couldn't understand the fretful male heart at th this age. As this elder, even by two years, I took it up on myself to be understanding of that. カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさん。カノンさ
Cho wasn't such, but he looked like he was having trouble getting his arms around and lifting up some sacks of fertilizer. I mean, he's small. Look at him. He's small. Is she gonna help him? She's gonna help him. But she's the master. With a smooth motion, Goro-san took the shovel that Jessica had picked up. Behind him, Kanankum was having trouble with the sex of fertilizer. Ooh. What kind of crappy gear they have? Yeah, I know, like a pebble and a... Anxious,しろよ。俺が来てるのはそんなお上品なものじゃねえぜ。それによ、俺はレストランで。<笑> Okay. A weird analog analogy, but okay. I lifted up the other bags that had fallen. Of course, they weren't light, but for me, it was a piece of cake. Kanakun looked at me surprised. It was the face of someone who never would have expected to receive help from a guest. Butler-sama. Sama. Kekko desu. Boku ga subete yarimasu no de. <laughs> as long as the old lady doesn't love Kumasava san. Since Kanankun looked like he hadn't yet gone through his growth spurt, he was stuck with a sort of weak body. That kind of weight might have been too much for him. Oof. It's 16. Wait, even Josh is helping. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> she says equally strong. Okay, as they did this, I packed all the stuff back into the wheelbarrow. It's okay. Getting the guests who were supposed to feel welcome see such a disgraceful thing must have been hideously embarrassing for a servant. Pressed by Goda to hurry up and go con and go con on con left. Bye! Yeah, he was standing there. Yep. He was just standing there. <laughs> this guy. Without even a twitch in a smile, Godasan apologized elegantly. Oh, he does? Eh? Okay. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Even she herself didn't believe that, not in her wildest dreams. So she must have said it to lighten the mood. Yeah, that's the kind of character Kumasawa Bachan used to be. The one stiff atmosphere had cleared up at once thanks to her cheerful smile. Oh, but Bachelor does know. We headed towards the trim, elegantly simple guest house. This was gonna be our temporary quarters for the night. No, He's sulking. Kanan watched over her head as the guests all entered the guest house. Then he let his eyes fall on the heavy sack of fertilizer piled up in the wheelbarrow. In his mind, he kept going over his previous mistake. Petla, big and strong, had picked up the sex in front of him. The sex cannon couldn't lift himself as if they were feathers. It would be extremely difficult for an outside observer to guess what emotions the favor had stirred up in Cannon. As far as you could tell by watching him hang his head, there was something that he just couldn't let go of. Muttered words escaped his lips. 
Those words he murmured were so soft that they didn't reach even his own ears. <laughs> even you, what? Kanan hung his head, slightly biting his lower lip. Where's Big Booba Shannon? Hello? We need to see the Big Booba. Torayan Visitor's Retreat was written on a gatepost like thing, but since everyone called it the guest house, I followed their lead. The brand new western style guest house, which stood overlooking the roses, had a magnificent design carefully done in harmony with the garden. Oh, so it's pretty new. Oh, they were probably like, yeah, I don't want you in the main house. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. Oh, yeah, she's living in the main house. I guess you could say my own house was upper class, but to me it felt completely ordinary compared to the head family. The display of weather was shocking, as was the fact that they'd built this kind of awesome guest house for guests who came over only a few times a year. Yeah, they're like once per year, maybe twice per year they come over, what the hell? Rich people. Rich people, guys. やっぱりここは綺麗でいいわね。洋風って本当に素敵だわ。ショーボイス。本能に3日なら洋風もええやろが、ずっといて落ち着くのは断行和風やで。うん。日本人は畳の上が一番くつろげるんや。I've never been on a tatami mat. Wait, once. Once when I was visiting like a Japanese garden thingy and they had this tea house there. Yeah, that's when I went, was on tatami mats. Moin moin vie, good evening, good morning. Are you still overseas? Are you back in good old Germany? Ah, okay, I see. Then, nah, it's not morning, is it? Two months. Oh, it's two months. Nice, nice. She woke up like it's just now. <laughs> see, okay. <laughs> All the rooms seem to be for two people. I was grateful since I wasn't gonna be forced to share the same room with the old bastard under the pretext that we're family. And anyway, I figured those two wouldn't be able to enjoy themselves with someone like me around. <laughs> oh, he's thinking about sex again! <laughs> oh god, Butler. You had a barbecue yesterday and it takes you over an hour to get. Oh, okay, that sucks. But I hope the barbecue was nice. <laughs> ゲーセアなんてとんでもない。ああ、そうクレンジ。どうぞごゆっくりお過ごしくださいませ。ああ、そうクレンジ、ガイズ。ああ、ててててて。いえ、さあ、よくそうやじ。once again Deadpool yeah, don't tell that your grandfather, like, yeah, my parents are gonna have the sex tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Such a grumpy old guy. Hotoshimo, 
<笑>あ、<笑><笑> After being rebuked by George, Aniki, and Jessica, I had no choice but to take back her thoughtless remark. The new Shiromiya family was wealthy beyond belief, but of course that meant all its members were a bit strange and completely out of touch with the world at large. And at the top of the chain, the family head, our grandfather, seemed especially strange and terrifying even for our family. Strange to some Beatrice, he is. Dad said he was getting a stomach ache earlier, and I imagine that reflected the honest feeling of all the adults here today. No doubt they were jealous of us grandchildren who could just play around and laugh without a care. Oh, if the old dude dies in like three months, everyone's probably like, oh, 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 we need his wealth. I want his wealth. I want all that shit. From the stories Dad told me, the family head was a violent man who ruled with his fists, beating his children, even his daughters, mercilessly with a wooden so Excuse me, what? <laughs> the year is 1986, guys. Remember, it's currently 1986. What? If he was so strict and uptight about that, why couldn't he have been a little more conservative with his kids' names? Because of that, even us grandkids have had to suffer. Anyway, I can't say I have any trouble believing those terrifying stories about him. I don't remember meeting him very often, but I think I recall him looking extremely grumpy all the time, always making people cover with the sharp gaze of his. I remember that the room's atmosphere got so tense whenever he was around you couldn't even breathe. What my dad said about me being the guest of honor now cares a little more oomph for me. Oomph. <sighs> Wait, does a 12 year old people still go into elementary school in Japan? Huh. Oh, desire. And he's grumpy, and he's grumpy, and he's super grumpy. The family darling! No, because they are the troublemakers. <laughs> he got slapped with a wooden sword. Oh, <laughs> that kind of reminds me when my grandma slapped me with like a wooden... What are these things? Not spoons, like those big, big thingies. It was wooden. And she slapped me with it on my foot. The funny thing was, it didn't hurt my foot, but the thing broke in two. <laughs> on her ass? Okay. Jessica-chan is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of Special attention by spanking her? Okay. Yeah, I feet of steel. <laughs><笑>その厳しさは期待の気持ちの裏返しだと思わなくちゃ。冗談じゃねえぜ。その後取りってやつはジョージ兄さんに譲るよ。私が<笑> no, she doesn't give a fuck. I think I already said it before, but Jessica's the girl heir to the head family. We're only cousins in branch family, so she probably feels a totally different sort of pressure than we do. Yeah, <laughs> she's just oblivious. Aww, she's so innocent. Oofed. 
She was grateful for Maria's innocent concern, but Jessica's face still seemed to contain some of the uneasiness she felt towards the future. Maybe you were in the same boat. Any high schooler with the exams approaching would have trouble hiding the anxiety for the future. Maria, are you yeah, they will have a bromance, guys. They will have a bromance. Oh, that's a huge fucking room. Wait, is that a Zelda map? That's a Zelda map, isn't it? Wow! Yes. Yes. You did, Vieg. You did. Wait, wait. Wait, what? Oh, Maria, Yeah, fuck mom. Maria, Oh. Aunt Rosa was right behind us, but Maria still answered, striking the air with her fists clenched tight. Okay. After setting down their luggage in their rooms, our parents had gathered again in the corridor. I think we're gonna go to the beach if I remember correctly. It seemed they were heading to the mansion to announce the arrival. Normally, they would make us follow them and greet everyone together. But if that had been the case, Dad would have just told us come and that'd be the end of it. He's saying it's okay if we don't come, so what do we do? I think we're gonna go to the beach. Yeah, let's go! Oh, because of the typhoon. Wow. Since Maria was being told to house sit here, we suddenly couldn't leave her on our own. Judge Aniki noticed this immediately and gave a clear reply blah 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 blah, blah reply for all of us cousins. So it's not the beach yet, huh? Oh, the prologue is so long, guys. さあ、Okay, thanks. What was his name? Goda san, right? Oh, we still haven't uh, met Natsuki and her husband. Oh. I. The adults left one up of the other. They left in the same formation as our trip from the harbor, with Godasan leading and Kumasawa taking up the rear. Rear, rear, rear. So we got out in the room assigned to us cousins, Judge Aniki asked us to excuse him for a second. He rushed over to Kumasawa-san, who was following behind the disappearing adults, and seemed to ask her something. He soon finished his business and came back. That's a freaking Zelda map. Oh, I know what he wanted to know. I'm not gonna say. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, she also knows. <laughs> oh, she knows. Nani Nani She knows. Ah, she knows. 
Anki was good and pretty tongue-tied. It was almost as though he felt guilty about something and Jessica knew exactly what he was worried about. At any rate, it's no fun if Jessica gets to know about it and on me. Nah, Maria. Oh, I know. Let's go! Oh, who's joining her? I fooled around while ooing together with Maria. It is! It is! He's looking for a girl. He's looking for a girl. Let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, on the bed. Let's go. Oh, they're pinning him down. <laughs> ah, yes. That's what you do with your cousins, pinning them down on the bed. Maria and I played around, chasing, jo chasing George Oniki as he tried to escape, rolling on the bed. I realized high schools aren't supposed to bounce around like kittens, but I still miss this kind of fun. A warm, cozy kind of fun. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> まあ、ほら、あれだぜ。兄さんも本家は <laughs> Let's go! Oh. Yeah, you can't tell a kid that they will never stop. Oh, she's so innocent. <laughs> See, she knows, she knows. Mm, big booba. <laughs> Shannon? Mm, Shannon. <gasps> oh, he does. I see. I see. Are we gonna go to the beach now? Nope. Mm, it's a dull time. Bleh. So yeah, Natsuhine san. Saikin Dutsu no ho wa do na ya. It toki daibu shindo so ni shito. Oh, this one is uh, Jessica's mother. Her. She's a badass, by the way. そうだ、これ。夏日姉さんにお土産。いつもありがとう。あなたには何かをもらってばかりね。これはこうちゃ。あ、I Rosa was always a con con It's that weird word again, woman! Probably because she was the youngest of the four and much younger than the other three. She managed to grow up without gaining the venomous nature of her siblings. Ken was good not to eat to soften her expression for just a moment. But it wasn't enough to melt her stony gaze, hard as it was by long years of mental stress. So ねえ。しっかりなさいな。ジェシカちゃん、今年は受験でしょ。うん。人生の節目じゃない。母親のあなたがそんなじゃ頼りないわよ。で、ウェイ、ジュドズライクアワード。それに夏日姉さん。私より
I don't think they get along. Good. Oh, shit. Even under normal circumstances, Eva sometimes failed to choose her words carefully. But her comments aimed at Natsui contained shards of obvious malice, though she hid it with a smile. Of course, that fact didn't escape Natsui. She frantically contained her urge to grimace, grimace and pretend to ignore Eva. <laughs> I don't think he gives a crap. Yeah, don't have headaches. Yeah, how can she be? How, how can she have like headaches, you know? むしろ逆で遊んでていいぞっていうのかあいつそういうのだけは素直に聞きやがるぜ。ひでよしにさんのところは受験本当にうまくいったじゃないですか。ああ、but he's the best, is he? So, ベンキョウチュノはワカンコトを自分で調べて身につけるという行為の練習なんや。ニョー。ニョー。これはできんやつは社会に出ても使い物にならん。あ、それはすごいハードバックインザデイズ。When I don't know, but but researching stuff was way harder, so you had to go to a library and shit. ここ三数ができろと言ってるんやない。勉強し身につけることを学べっちゅうことやな。ゴリッパですわ。うちの実家にもそれなりにできればいいんだけど。No, <laughs> she doesn't give a fuck. 今のままではとてもじゃないけど、後ろにやけど。She doesn't want to be. いいじゃないの。無理に後取りにしなくても。ペンキン1988。あ、オッケー、オッケー、オッケー。いや、but。wasn't Ah, university, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Kodomo no sodate kato wa iye sore zore ya. Oshisuke gamashi no wa akan de. Gomen nasai. Natsuhine san mo ki wo waruku shinai de. Gosh, I don't like her. No, okay. No, the light shining in through the window was quite warm despite the cloudy weather. There was a dark mood about the room. It was probably causing headaches for more than just Natsui. As if to sweep away that mood, Kiria broadly made a suggestion to all present. でも、本当に素敵な香りの紅茶ね。早速いただいてみましょうよ。にゃお。レオポルドの紅茶なんて、日本じゃ確か銀座でしか買えなかったはずよ。キリエ姉さんはお詳しいですね。うんうん。買
Uh, see, they didn't at this so yet. But who's this person? This is Kinzo. Who's that? Natsu a bit of lower lip, frustrated by the ineptitude of the servants who were, who were late bringing in the tea. Oh, it's Shana! And seeing her face, Eva immediately started to giggle. Of course, Shannon had no way of knowing what was taking place in the parlor. She came pushing a serving pot piled with teacups. Guys, the big bloomers are here! For no apparent reason, Natsui gave her a pained look and Shannon couldn't help but flinch without knowing what she had done wrong. It's the big boomer, guys! <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> You're just looking at her eyes, right? At her closed eyes. Okay. Oh man, she's cranky. She's cranky. She apologized like a small frightened animal, bumped against the serving cart, made a jarring racket as she dropped several teaspoons. The clumsiness made Natsu's expression turn even darker, which made Shannon quail even more. Man, she super hates Natsu. Oh god. Oh my, I fucking hate Eva. Whoa. It's a problem. Ah, she has bigger booba than me. I don't like that. <laughs> Natsu's irritation was obvious by now. The ineptitude that delayed the tea, the clumsiness of the servant, everything pointed to the incompetence of Natsu's everyday leadership, making her lose face. Oh. As the person in charge of the Ushiromiya head family's kitchen, allowing the clumsiness to be exposed to day of all days was surely nothing less than total humiliation. Wow. Wow. No, totally not. Please, is this fruity? Is this super duper fruity? I like, like fruity tea. She doesn't know! Oh, she does know. Curio was trying to be nice, hoping to cut through the tense mood. However, Shannon had embarrassed herself instead, darkening Natsui's face in the room's mood. At this point, Eva was audibly giggling. I fucking hate that bitch. What? Shannon-chan, I wanna punch her. I wanna punch her. Gosh, I love her voice actress, but holy fuck, I hate this character. Uh, to eat? Soup? I don't know. So you don't get lead poisoning? I don't know. Teasing smile rose to Eva's face as she stared at Shannon setting the table. By itself, Eva's expression was sweet in an impish sort of way. However, the words being spun from her lips held the keenness of a razor with them. Shannon tried with all her might to avoid Eva's continuing gaze. Realizing that Shannon was hard pressed for an answer, Rosa gave some timely help. Ah. I see. <laughs> They're acting as though the tea needed to be tested for poison before it could be drunk. Natsui's eyes this was an insult both to the tea and to herself for serving it. Rudolph laughed flippantly and patted Eva's shoulder. <laughs> あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
わっはっはわしはその毒舌を毎日聞かされとるからもう毒に耐性がついてしもたわ。Oh God. Yeah, nice burn, bro. <笑>今もわし相手には構わんが耐性のない相手にはチートかけんせんとな。Oh、Holy hell. わっはっはっはっは。あらあらひどい。シャノンちゃんにお茶の知識を教えてあげただけじゃなあーかいんだばうんどすわるず ?OK I wanna punch that lady Everyone followed the lead set by Hideyoshi's horse laugh and chuckled though not easily Only Natsui didn't join in but for the time being the conversation inside the parlor could now be could now be mistaken for a lively and friendly chat シャノン finally finished setting the tea table and tried to leave Kiri apologized to her in a low voice for not being able to help. Shannon gave a light bow and made a hasty retreat. Oh no, I feel so sorry for her. Shannon cast her eyes downwards as she pushed the car down the corridor. Anyone seeing the pitiful way she looked might easily conclude that she'd been bullied in some way. No. Nesan? Oh, Nesan. Oh, they have the same eye color. So you are Yakuma Dakara. Oksama, my Eva, some of the Goku, what you do? So they only hit it. Wait, who? Colonel glad headfully in the opposite direction of the parlor. Eh? The preparations for the tea had been delayed by some trifling problems in the kitchen. These problems were not Shannon's fault. In fact, it had been Goda's mistake. Oh, it was Goda. After all, there was no way a show of like Goda would give up a fleshy job like bringing in tea when the guests arrived. It ended up wasting time preparing the tea once again. So when he realized he wouldn't be able to score any points for this job, he pushed the task of setting the table on Shannon, who happened to be the past happened to be passing by. What? That's kind of rude, right? Cause. Shannon is the superior. They said she already worked there before uh, Badler stopped coming, right? So that was over six years ago. And this guy, what did they say? Like, like three years? Mother trucker. You might call it a clever move on his part, but there could be no doubt that it was Goldly one. Wow. 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 One asshole. <laughs> and Kanon's silence vividly expressed the distance between Shannon's words and how she actually felt. She was bothered by it, yep. Oops. Mm, I'm not sure if they are actually siblings, I'm not sure. Maybe he just says Nesan because she's older. I'm not sure. You never know with the Japanese, right? Yeah, I'm not bothered by it all. Ghost cries and Ghost cries in the corner. Aww. Suddenly, they both felt someone's presence and whirled around. God, it, it, it's the dude. It's the one. It's the the what is it? The head dude. <laughs> well, we heck. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute, Vihek chan. A middle aged man stood there. It was Genji, the head servant, and he needed healing. So, what is it? I'm going to go to uh, Shannon humbly obeyed and promptly made to push the cart and leave. However, Conan appealed to Genji in silence, bearing something in his eyes that he could not express in words. <laughs> this is like Vatama did nothing wrong. <laughs> すぐに仕事に戻ります。ギー。カノン君も自分の持ち場に戻って。お願い。
姉さんがそう言うなら何事もないならそうしなさい。Let's、はい、go. 失礼します。When are we gonna go to the beach? In the shadows in the hallway, an old woman wearing an apron watched over them. It was Kumasawa. Oitawashia, Shano san, Kanon san. Eh? Ano Futari ga izimerare ryu a nani mo nai no desu. Eh? Shikashi, Goda san ni kiraware te iru no wa. Maybe because they are way better than him. Goda san wa, Ushiromi ya honke irashiarare ryu ma de, doko ka no ripu. She's just talking to herself right now. So exactly, and then he keeps on bullying the others. Yes, I don't think she is wrong. シャノンさんとカノン君をことあるごとにいびられるのですまた気の毒なことに夏日奥様にも嫌われてお<笑>りますもちろん年季という意味では奥様の方が長くこの家におられます I see because of her nice eyes right こればかりは奥様にも同情しなくてはなりません本当に親方様も罪作りな方でございます、えー、ご自身のちょっとした気まぐれが奥様にこれほどまでの劣等感をお与えになるとはどうして思い至らなかったでしょう What is wrong with all this family? もちろん奥様とて内心はあの二人に辛く当たる言われは何もないことを重々承知してはおります。Yeah, she's giving exposition. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm still complaining. Exposition, who needs exposition? In this 10 hour long prologue. Yeah, but like it's been three hours and I still can't stop playing. <laughs> But we won't get to the juicy parts today. I'm so sad. <laughs> ah. There we go. This is whenever I stop playing. When these thingies came, I was like, okay, okay, so you should take a break. Well, it's 12 o'clock now. Let's go. <laughs> Let me quickly save. They still didn't add these guys. Oh, because Betla probably hasn't met them yet, I guess. The four of, the four of us cousins were enjoying our stories, just shooting the breeze. Anyway, there were both girls and guys here. Plus, we had people over a widespread of ages adult, high school, and elementary school. We just talked about our own lives. The other three kept listening attentively. I mean, yeah, a three-year-old, a three-year-old compared to a nine-year-old, that's super different. Yeah, I'm just getting used to it. Well, I think he likes Booba way more than he did six years ago. Yeah, I mean, he looks like a child. マリアだっていつまでもお子様じゃねえぞ。お子様から可愛いお姫様に成長していくんだからな。そうしたらまな板みてえな胸もすーぐジェシカ並みになるぞ。You can't tell that you're a little kid. What the fuck, Butler? そしたら伸ばしてくれよ。約束だぞ。I'm telling you, sweet home Alabama. <laughs> oh God. 
Oh my freaking hell. <laughs> yeah, I think she's actually on the spectrum. I think she might have some kind of autism. マリア、お前と結婚する未来の旦那さんはきっと幸せ者だぜ。って、いい話にすり替えつつ約束を保持してんじゃねえぜ。マリア、その約束はなし。なし。おお。約束取り消し。うふ。おお。やっぱりバト
Oh, it's Jessica, isn't it? Honka donka badonka is exactly Rubik's. Which is why I was glad that Jessica chose the time to drive her elbow into the back of my head. I told you, the, the first episode is so much cringe. First, they want to lure you in, like, know all the characters a little bit better, and then... I think it's the end of episode one, like, holy fucking hell. I think the witch also will only appear at the end of the first episode. And then things will get real fun. Yeah, are you a molester? Oh, she's probably like, yeah, but I'm just a servant. Yep. Oh god, she would do anything? Oh my lord. I'm, I'm currently looking at my booba. Do I have an air defense identification range of about 10 centimeters? What are 10 centimeters? Wait, I'm just trying. It's still a little bit too close. <laughs> <laughs> Two centimeters? That is super fucking close. Oh, she also says the same thing as Canon does. Because she didn't want her breast touch. But if I guess. Blah, 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 but if I guess so desired, she was prepared to sacrifice herself to soothe their wounds. No! I have like 20 centimeter air defense system. <laughs> Maybe more like 30. Ugi, <laughs> thanks, Vieg. <laughs> Dame dane, dame yo, dame dane yo. Okay, let's go. Wait. <laughs> and all this time, Maria is just standing there. This nine-year-old kid just like looking at the big booba. Oh god. Okay. Maria knows what's good, she's nine years old. What the fuck? Maria knows what's good, she's nine years old. What the fuck? Maria knows what's good, she's nine years old. Maria knows what's good, Let's go! Let's beat up children, goddammit! <laughs> We're not gonna beat up Maria! Wait, you don't like Maria and Oras? <laughs> the sexy lady was here, the one from the hand ties. What did you. <laughs> I bet there's hand ties of, Khan, uh, of Shannon. Shannon Chan announced this while bowing elegantly to me. Her expression was radiant. I gave her a thumbs up to show her I was fine with that. Oh boy. You don't like people named Maria? Whoa! Yes. <laughs> Ten years? Wait, what? What? Ten years? <laughs> she started when she was like six? They're on number two of your hate list. Wow. Wow. Please don't quote that. Exactly. She, uh, the kanji for names are red as Shannon. Now, here's another name that's far from typical for, for that, but I can't read anymore, guys. For a Japanese person. 
Back in the day, I was a kid myself. So I accepted her name without paying it much attention. Thinking about it now, though, her name's pretty unusual, even though she's not a member of the Yushiromiya family. Maybe it's like a servant's professional name or something. If so, then my explain why her name's so similar to Kanon Kun, that kid I met earlier in the Rose Garden. She's a long term servant who served you since she was six years old. <laughs> Anora's no! Appearance had changed so much that I couldn't match her to the person of my memories, but we both knew each other six years ago. The shy part of her had always been there, but she did seem to have developed the allure you'd expect of a girl her age. Especially in her breasts, yes. Oh, so they are brother and sister after all. Okay. No, never mind. Nope. あいかわらずいつも通りだぜ。もうちょっと愛想よくすればいいのによ。もったい。カノン君がご迷惑をおかけしたようで。申し訳ございません。別に迷惑なんか何も。なあ、he <笑> Wait, so Kana and Shannon are both 16 and she's still like, oh, ne wait, so Ella's sister, right? <laughs> oh, come on, you're a kid. Oh, and she's happy about that. Oh, no. Oh. Colibri, hello, 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 hello. How are you guys doing? My name's Sororinya, and I'm playing a pretty boring game right now. But hello, hello, hello. Hey, Jules. Hey, Mr. Microwave. Oh, God, there's so many people. Mr. Spicy Davis. Oh, the Miku, hello. V heck, hello. Darylson, hello. Flash, hello, hello, hello. How's everyone? Let me, let me give you a shout out. Kali, Bria, what did you play? <gasps> That's such a good game. It's the first one, right? The Blind Forest, the first one. Or is that the second one? It's the first one, right? Nice, and now you're just staring at Booba. Great. <laughs> it's such a great game. Oh, Will of the Wolves is the second. The second one. Oh. I traveled with the first one. The second one, I I think, was a little bit easier. Oh, you haven't played them before. Ooh, you're in for a ride. You're in for a ride. But yeah, I hope you had fun. I hope you had fun. But yeah, I'm reading Umineko. I've read the first six episodes on my own like a couple of years ago. And now I started it up again. And well, the prologue is about 10 hours long. <laughs> it's a 10 hour prologue. We're like three and a half hours in. And so far, it's just, it's just boring stuff. The real fun starts in about six hours. <laughs> you died so much. Ooh. There was like one boss where I also died a shit ton. I think it was a gigantic frog. I think it was a gigantic frog if I remember correctly. <laughs> Let me just perish, yes. If you have like 150 death threat, I don't think I had that many. I do not think I had that many. But I remember a giant frog and that guy, oh my lord. Are you good with like those Metrovania games? I'm not good at those. <laughs> I started Hollow Knight like right after my debut about two years ago. I've never finished it. You're just critically bad at platformers. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, then I don't think you should play Hollow Knight. <laughs> uh, no, I haven't re read uh, Higurashi. I read, I think, like two episodes or three episodes on my own. Of Higurashi, but yeah. But Umineko, I've read the first six. And then when the seventh came out, I think I read like two hours and then I forgot about it. 
<laughs> and now we're here streaming the first one. I've read some mangas of Higurashi, watched a lot of those animes, but yeah. Look, yeah, get some food, go pee, do whatever you need to do. <laughs> thank you again for the raid, thank you, thank you. Also, Mr. Microwave, thank you for your follow, thank you, thank you. No, I didn't read the hentai curry, please. <laughs> Wait, Maria Summer? I was about to slide in there. Exactly, Anoros. Oh, don't be unsociable. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I remember another meal. You did not say the H word, I said the hentai word. <laughs> God damn it, Anoros! Leave little Maria Chan alone! Chan and bowed again formally and returned to her duty mode. We realized that if we made her stick around for any more light conversation, it would actually make it harder for her to do her job. We got up of our butts to avoid interfering with her work any further. Wait, when? When are we gonna go to the beach? We're not. I can't perish other will instead. No, Anoros, you just need to use your cute command, then you won't be able to perish, right? Dana. 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 Oh, now I'm getting hungry. I had pizza earlier. It wasn't with kiwis. It was just an ordinary, you know, pineapple pizza. Your beloved cute command corrupt the twisted. <laughs> Cut the door, Rubik's now. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Oh no, I'm remembering something from I think it might be episode two or three. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Anna Shannon's gun Anna Shannon's I can't read anymore, guys. It's been three and a half hours. Anna Shannon Chan's guidance, we headed towards the mansion. Wait, they have palm trees there. Wait, I just noticed. <laughs> Wait, are you sitting on the toilet? Wait, what's that? I can't really see that. Is that emote sitting on the toilet? We met once again by the magnificent Rose God and we continued onward as the intimidating mention of the Orochimo head family came into view. It's a freaking toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Happy pissing, I see. It apparently been built shortly after the war so you could feel the dignity of almost a half century hanging about it. The building was gorgeous on the surface, but all that it was, equipment such as AC and heating were apparently quite well. They still had ACs? Guys! <laughs> this is 1986 and they had ACs. It is 2023 in Germany. And we're still like, what are ACs? <laughs> Moose! Hello, hello! According to Jessica, midwinter was especially tough, what with all the drafts. Have these people ever heard of a Kotatsu? Oh, I want to have a kotatsu, but I wouldn't be able to fit it in my room. I saw some on Amazon. They're still like kind of... Mr. Spicy Davis! Wait, what happened to your name? <laughs> thank you for your five months. Thank you, thank you. Were you always Mr. Spicy? <laughs> I can't remember. I had empty. Oh, you thought I was getting one. Oh, you changed. I was like, what? <laughs> what happened? Mr. Spicy Davis. <laughs> oh, he's not no longer from Latvia. Oh, no, he's spicy. As we entered the entrance hall, an H servant greeted us. Now him, I remembered. Genji-san, he needs healing, who had been working here longer than anyone, filled the role of head servant. Matura-sama. 
お久しゅうございます。Wait, he has, he actually has、uh, the emblem, huh? His eyes met and he greeted me with a calm, composed voice. His bow wasn't as graceful or refined as Godos. Despite its simplicity, it communicated his feelings very well. He's just too old, guys. Lucky Lurk! Genji san! Hontori, o s h i s i b r i s s o n z e l a n d o k a n e s a m a d e s k o y a k a n i s u m o s a s e t e i t a d a i t e o r i m a s I think he's about to kill over. m a t o r a s a m a k o s o g o r i p a n i n a r a r e m a s h t a Look at him. He's old. o k a n e s a m a n o a k Right, I think Ginzo actually had red hair. I think he actually had red hair. Yeah, I think he actually had red hair. Oh, this is so cringe again. Oh, 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 so cringe again. After that, we headed towards the dining room under Genji san's guidance. Genji san, just like Kumasawa san, stood in stark contrast to us young people who had grown beyond recognition over the last six years. His appearance was exactly the same as in my memories from six years ago. It was as though a time had stopped since the last time we met. Genji san was an extremely quiet and diligent person. He was basically grandfather's close AD or caregiver. You might even call him grandfather's companion of many years. Wink, wink. In fact, it seems he was by grandfather's side even more often than my late grandmother was. Okay! I mean, you do you. You do you. <laughs> they were roommates, you think so? <laughs> Maybe there were more? Maybe. But I wonder how long he served. I never got the details, but I heard something about him being here since the very beginning when this mansion was first constructed. Which would mean that he's dedicated half of his life to serving here. It's easy to see why he's so trusted. So we passed through a massive hall that extended up into the second story of the mansion with no separating floor. s p o t e d something that hadn't existed in my memory of six years ago. It's the portrait! I think it's the portrait! Is it? Is it? Yes, Beatrice. Oh, Beatrice! This is not ominous at all. It is not ominous at all. Okie dokie. Ah, yes. It was an awfully big portrait hanging right in front of the stairs that rose. Rose to the second floor. Without thinking, I stopped walking, captivated by it. Since I'd stopped so fast, Maria, who was following behind me, ran into my bag. I pointed at the big, prominently displayed portrait in the hall. Everyone else stopped too. Also, see, she has the Russian, you know, Russian rabbit that just the emblem on her dress. Look, yeah. Batura got kicked a coroniva. Areva, Kakerate, and I got take. It's Karadatakana. Toshko Boku no Kyokuga Tadashkereva. Ototoshi Atari that that all moyo. Wait, that's not that long ago. Is Sakun no Shigatsuni. The ribbon's a little bit small, isn't it? It's eerie. It's kind of eerie, isn't it? The portrait suited this western mansion, and the woman in the elegant dress gave off a sense of refinement. Oh, she has such a refined laugh, guys. <laughs> I couldn't have guessed her age, but her sharp eyes and the strong will she seemed to possess made her look youthful. She seemed somehow different from the composed middle aged woman you often see in famous pictures. But she's not composed! If she'd had normal black hair, I might have assumed it was a portrait of my long deceased grandmother in her prime. However, she had beautiful blonde hair and didn't look Japanese at all. Hmm, she, who also has blonde hair? Jessica? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's about the same time they built the castle. Ooh, that's right, Lukuru. That's right. 
誰だいこのご婦人はよ。マリアンサーたちの質問をエントゥーシアスティックに言うと、プロチューニューディアンサー。マリアシテル、ベアトリーチェ、ベアトリーチェ、ベア、なんだって<笑> Such a complicated name, ベアトリーチェ。ベアトリーチェ、ベアトリーチェ、ベアトリーチェ、マジョだよ。<笑> It's like the grandfather is doing dark magic. She's a witch, and nobody's betting an eye. b a t r a k u n a Mukashi, Kikasareta Kotonai? Majo? De Kono Shimono? Okay, I think I already said this, but Rokenjima is a small island, only 10 kilometers in circumference. However, that's actually pretty massive, considering that only the Yoroshiromiya family lives here. So, only the harbor and the area around the mansion were set up to be lived in. Beyond that, the island remained as untouched as when it was uninhabited. The vast and empty forest had absolutely no lights, phones, or people passing through. To understand how dangerous that is, you need to forget your common sense as a city dweller. After all, if you happen to fall down a hole in the depth of the forest and sprain your ankle, No! Don't burn her! Excuse me, are you Italiano? Yes, Beatrice! <laughs> <laughs> no one would come save you, no matter how much you cried or screamed. Then, once the sun went down, the forest would be wrapped in complete darkness since there were no street lights. And since there were no signs, it'd be easy to get lost and confused, losing your sense of direction inside that dark forest. Nowadays, most people see a forest as a peaceful place. But the people of bygone s eras before the light of civilization drove out the night's forest wars dab dab yum yum geographically separate from civilization as the sea. There were oceans above the ground. What's he talking about again? <laughs> Fishermen who go out into the ocean are putting their lives at risk despite their technical knowledge. In the same way, hunters who go out to the forest are in danger despite having specialized knowledge of their own. Oh, he was talking about the forest. To r e m e m b e r to go play in such a dangerous forest, something terrible might happen. Someone's parents must have thought so. Maybe grandmother first said it. Or maybe it was grandfather himself. Or perhaps the story's been passed down on this island since ancient times. There's a terrible witch in the forest, so you must not go in. At some point, this ghost story of Rokenjima was born. This is the legend of Rokenjima's witch. And that's why, when we talk about a witch on this island, we are referring to the master of the vast and savage forest. Come to think of it, when I stayed at this mansion as a little kid during those eerie nights when the wind and rain pounded on the windows, I remember being terrified by the story of the forest witch who roamed around searching for human sacrifices. Oh, here we go! <laughs> so. Beatrice, huh? When Aniki mentioned it, I searched my memory and was sure I recalled hearing a name like that when I was little. なるほどな。しかし、あの魔女伝説の魔女にベアトリーチェなんておしゃれな名前がついてたとはとんと忘れてたぜ。イフォゴー。じいさまめ。孫たちが信じないもんだからわざわざ絵に描き上がったか。う
a Shiromia family. All of the lawless Romania was the domain of the Red Bear Tree Jack. You might even call her the true ruler of Rokenjima. I felt a faint revival of the unsettling sense of misfortune. Which I felt when I learned of the tutelary god's shrine being struck by lightning. And I remember that Kumabuza Wait. When was that shrine struck down? Also one and a half years ago? I think so, right? And I remember that kumasawa son tried to tell an ominous story about Rokenjima, but Jessica stopped her. I don't know what she was planning to tell us about this island, but I do know one thing. is isn't the Ushiromiya family that rules Rokenjima. It's the witch Beatrice. And that's right. After all, this is the witch's island. I'm coming! When I looked around, everyone was already heading towards the dining room. Hurriedly chased after them. Maybe last year was already gone. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. We walked up to the huge double doors that led to the dining room. Genji san knocked. Knock, knock. Yay, the children! The doors were open and we were invited inside. Eh, light mode! Yeah, it could also have been after the painting. The dining room, which looked exactly like you'd imagine a rich person's dining room to be. It had a super long table that was obviously positioned with no purpose other than to make the guests conscious of their rank. Our parents were already sitting in accordance with that ordering. Oh, thanks. Thanks. The old bastard pressed us to sit. The only gaps in the group of people were the spots where we were supposed to sit, which only made us feel our tardiness all the more. A seat at the head of the table called the insip the what? Insip incipient chair. What a how do you pronounce? It? No, incipient, incipient. Incipient P <laughs> Incipient Incipient okay let me let me get my chrome audio up how do you No Nine <laughs> <laughs> Press the wrong thing Incipient 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 Oh beginning Incipient Incipient. Incipient, oh god. Incipient, like sippy sippy. Incipient. Uh, called the incipient's chair. Oh, the beginning chair. I see. <laughs> was for the most highly ranked reserved for grandfather. It was still empty. Probably want to show up last for dramatic effect. From the perspective of someone facing the incipient chair head on... Seating order went from left to right, with the lower ranking seats progressing in rows of two further away from it. So the left hand side of the first row closed to and I don't care who's sitting where. Uncle Kraus should have sat since he was the second highest ranking. Wait, where's Kraus? Looked like he hadn't arrived yet, so that seat was empty. Across from his chair on the right side of the first row sat the eldest daughter of the family, Aunt Eva, who was the third highest in rank. The left hand side of the second row was for the first highest in rank. I said my damn dad, Rudolf, the third of the siblings. Across from him on the right side of the second row sat Aunt Rosa, the youngest sibling. At this point, you might expect their husbands and wives to come next. But nope, the left hand seat in the third row rank number six belonged to Jessica. Opposite her was George Aniki. I sat next to Jessica. And Maria sat across from me. And finally, next to me on the left hand side of the fifth row sat On Natsui, the tenth size in rank. See, they don't have the family emblem on their clothes. Opposite her was Uncle Hideyoshi. Next to On Natsui in the sixth row and the final seat on the left hand side sat Kiryu san. The seat opposite to Kiryu san was empty, even though silverware had been set there and everything. According to the ranking system, that spot was where Aunt Rosa's husband should be sitting. Even though he wasn't supposed to be coming, his place was made up. Interesting. 
Normally, ranking system of the third gives spouse equal positions as their partners, but the Yoshiromiya's family system was unique. Maybe it's a remnant of male chauvinism. Maybe? We start with the assumption that a woman's womb is just something to be borrowed, then the children of direct descent would come first, directly followed by the grandchildren. What? It might actually be, yeah. That's why the partners don't have the emblem of holy fuck. This, this kinzo dude, what the fuck? In other words, spouses have no blood ties and are therefore placed at the end of the line. It's terrible, but this system, my grandmother would be ranked even lower than me if she was still alive. In their youth, they obey their father. After they get married, their husband. After aging, their children. That's the old saying, women have no home in any realm. Holy fuck, 1986. Long ago, when I was still incapable of figuring all this out, I thought it was so great that we could all chat in our little groups, adult siblings with adult siblings and cousins with cousins. However, now that I can re-examine the seating order after growing up a bit, it stirs up some very complicated feelings in me. It's fucked up. Onatsui, who was married to the eldest son and was the de facto number two in managing this family, said to my right. Which meant that she was two steps lower than me in the ranking order. Wait. She had to sit to his left. I think that's a mistranslation. She should sit to his left. It was hard to imagine what might be going on inside her heart. That's why I made a small apologetic gesture towards her before sitting down. お久しぶりですね。バトラク。はい。随分背が伸びましたね。うん。あ、ああ、はい。おお、そうです。はい。くったり食べたり食事したりしてたら。いつの間にかこんな身長に。オッケー。シュアベトラシュア。本当のこね
the approach towards Natsui-san? Oh god, no. <laughs> she doesn't like Kinzo. Jessica. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> when her mother scolded her, Jessica stuck her tongue out and looked away. No way around it. Might as well wait until our host arrives. When I glanced at the clock, I saw that it was almost 12.20. Hmm. Also, where's, like, the other dude? Like, Jessica's father. Where's that dude? Ah! That's Kinzo! Oshiromiya Kinzo, the aged family head of the Oshiromiya head family. Oshiromiya. This man could be seen in a study. Oh, wait, he also has a portrait of her in the background of Beatrice. The clock had already passed noon, but he didn't even attempt to rise from his seat. With his spectacles on, he pulled up a growing pile of books with elaborate bindings, which he then read intently. You couldn't really say that he was having too much fun to stop. Rather, he filled the room with a sense of impatience, or perhaps a sense of impeding danger, as though every second wasted was a tragedy. He had so much alcohol in there, holy hell! <laughs> in this... Wait, that is all locked up. Look, the alcohol and the books are all locked up. In the sealed room, a dense dust danced through the air, which was thick with the stench of chemicals that exuded a mix of suspicious odors. Those odors were somehow sweet and heavy. Anyone with a normal nose came in here, the first thing they'd do would be to open a window and ventilate this room. The knocking against the study door had been going on for a while. Oh, it might be a son. Yep. A voice calling father sometimes mingled with the knocks. As Kinzo heaved a deep sigh, he snapped shut the old book in his hands and slammed it on the table. Then he yelled at Kra K K How the Kraus? Kraus was still knocking on the door. Yeah, shut the fuck up! <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh my god, this guy is so cranky. <laughs> I just want to get out. Cross got out to his father through the door. Kinzo always shut himself up in the study, hating it when nearly anyone, even his family, entered the room. For that reason, Krauss had no choice but to call to him from the corridor like this. This guy. <laughs> He's got an attitude. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Sir, are you okay? <laughs> ah, yes. Demonic absent? Okay. Oh, this guy. On the other side of the door, Kraus, Nanjo, and Genji kept waiting for the master of the house who stubbornly refused to come out. <laughs> oh god, you look so smug! <laughs> you look so smug! <laughs> Kraus shrugged as though saying it's no use and smiled bitterly. From the beginning, he hadn't really expected his father to respond to his calls. However, since it was the duty of the eldest son, he had tried as a formality. Ah, so it's the doctor, okay. <laughs> he's doing his dailies, yeah, he's doing his gotcha dailies. Watashi 
貴様など呼んではおらぬ私は源氏を呼べと言ったのだ、うん、さあ急ぎすぐに呼べ、うん、時間は常に有限だ人たちはすでにラッパを構えているぞなぜにそれがわからぬか愚かな羊どもめ<laughs> Kenzo slammed an old heavy book against the table over and over. The racket clearly expressed his great displeasure. Kenzo put his spectacles down and flew up from his chair. He spread his arms wide open as if to sing to a packed opera house of appealing to someone and yelled. Beatrice! Never mind! <laughs> さあさあげよさあさあげよどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどどど
the switch for that? Oh, it's the one under the table. There's, there's one under the table. After a small delay, the heavy sound of the door unlocked could be heard. Kinzo, Kinzo was convinced that his family wanted to make a mess of his study. Or perhaps someone had once opened the window for some air and ended up scattering things that to him were important research materials. Leaving him in a terrible mood. Kinzo had outfitted his room with a formidable lock, preventing anyone from entering without his permission and thereby sealing himself in a jail of his own making. Genji, whom he trusted the most, was relatively free to enter the room, but even that didn't always hold. Kinzo was in a bad mood, even Genji wouldn't be able to enter. Aha! Look, Drew murder! Hmm. Anyone else would be limited to holding a conversation through the door, unable even to see Kinzo's face. And most of the time, what they got could hardly be called a conversation. However, this didn't trouble the rest of the family much. After all, it just wasn't worth the effort to disturb this aging family head and who was impossible to please and always stayed shut away, immersed in his research. Taking advantage of his refusal to leave his room, they supported his isolation, putting his care entirely into the hands of the servants. Genji, the alcohol is go! Busy with what? Dying? Hi. Genji headed to a corner of the study. There, suspicious looking bottles boasting venomous colors were on display. They were actually liquor, but considering the shady atmosphere of this room, one might easily suspect them of being some ghastly poison. Inside the study, the mysterious collection of books gathered by Kinzo had grown into a mountain. There were bizarre ancient or banned books of all of them either forbidden, cursed or sealed. But if you tried to call them old books, Kinzo would fly into rage and say, Call them grimoires. There were also many mysterious objects that presumably held some meaning with regards to black magic like candles suspiciously melted and molded into straight shapes. The constellations drawn on a certain celestial globe contained quite a few shapes that would draw puzzled looks from anyone familiar with today's night sky. The carelessly strewn about books contained many illustrations, all of them of a religious or mysterious nature, including some depicting demonically grotesque subjects or bizarre diagrams of various magic circles. Above all, a sweet, poisonous smell filled the room, profoundly assaulting the eyes and the nose of those who entered for the first time. Eventually, it must surely make a person go numb and lose their grip on reality. Inside that study, Genji prepared Kinza's usual drink with a well-trained hand. No one would even think of drinking such an ominous dark green liquid in that complex and ornate glass unless someone first told them it was alcohol. He poured a little into the glass. Then he placed a cube of sugar in a strangely shaped spoon and poured water from a pitcher over it. Strangely, when the transparent water was poured, the dark green liquid turned a cloudy white. There was a strange optical illusion, as though the water had caused a chemical reaction and made the drink become even more unrecognizable as liquor. Then, Genji added original flavors Kinza loved, fine-tuning its taste. There was no recipe. Success was measured only by Kinza's mood swings when he drank it, and it had taken Genji many decades to learn how to do it right. What the fuck? Genji placed the glass on a tray and walked over to Kinzo. By this time, Kinzo was gazing out the window. Kinzo had regained his composure and was now unrecognizable as the shouting, screaming, yelling man from a few moments ago. Looking at this man from behind as he tilted his glass and gazed down at the scenery beyond the window, he projected a sense of dignity and intelligence. To allow Kinzo to set his glass down at any time, Genji motionlessly waited behind Kinzo and to his left as though he were a living sideboard. Then without averting his eyes from the window, Kinzo held out his glass. There was only a mouthful remaining. It was not a gest gesture intended to set it up on the tray, but a motion to hand the glass over to Genji. No me! No me! No, 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 no. Let's go! Let's get drunk! Drink. Drink. Genji respectfully received the glass and inclined it a little to taste its contents. After that, he gulped it down. Hmm. Hmm. 
What the hell? <laughs> Kinzo smiled as his lawyer subject. He refused to put aside rank even when asked to. However, he was not making fun of him. His smile was relaxed as though chuckling at a close friend's old unshakable habit. I mean, yeah, look at you. Kinzo gave a faint smile as if to say he didn't need any flattery. But now I will kill you! The mother's お前たちを見習わたしを恐れてやめていった。お前だけが今でも私に仕えてくれる。もったいないお言葉です。私の嫁もそうなの。いや、we クラウスの愚か者は金を湯水のように使い一枚の金貨を売るのに二枚の金貨を売るのに。Yeah, <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> That's true. Rosa, Oh god, he hates everyone. <laughs> he hates everyone. What? What? <laughs> あ、分かっておるとも。これがベアトリーチェの呪いであることも分かっておる。黄金の魔女め、それが私への復讐のつもりか。憎みたく場に憎むがよい。逃げたければ逃げるがよい。This guy has got a big problem. <笑> お前は私の物だ。常に私の腕の中でなくてはならん。私の生涯の全てなのだ。これは鳥籠にて永遠に私に私だけに支え続けるのだ。ベアトリーチェ。She's just in the portrait. I will show you the desire song in the movie. <laughs> After howling, Kinzo choked once again. Then she set the tray and glass down and rubbed his muscles back. And his facial expression did not change. It was always like this. <laughs> when his seemingly deranged fit subsided, Kinzo regained his composure once again. It was like seeing two different people, a wild Kinzo and a composed Kinzo, living together inside one body. Sounds like a skill issue. Oof. Remaining years? Please, they said three months. Hi, Drady. Thank you. Oh, my bottle of water. Hey, 
have three mummies in my party. Demons? What a life, watching Sora and reading Rizira at the same time. <laughs> Is it the first novel? I started the 21st novel. <laughs> What is going on with this old man? I think he drank too much alcohol. This is how you will end up in Noros if you don't stop. だ。ガイロスミ。奇跡を掴み取る運気は もしも私にその魔力がある。Is he done? Is he done? Kinzo looked up to the sky outside the window. He spread his arms as if appealing to someone up in the skies. <笑>ペアトリーチェ。ペアトリーチェ。ペアトリーチェ。ペアトリーチェ。ペアトリーチェ。ペアトリーチェ。ペアトリーチェ。ペアトリーチェ。ペアトリーチェ。ペアトリー
Okay. Let me, let me get up the YouTube. The YouTube. I still have the Peppa, Peppa Pig game trailer, YouTube. Okay, let's get the YouTube up. Get the YouTube. This one is great. It's this one. Uh, there we go. I need my Chrome audio. This is great. The opening is really cool. I am not sure if that one has spoilers in there. Let me quickly check. Uh, no, but the the opening is so great. We're gonna watch this too. Somehow it reminds me of the Seiki no Kwasa and oh god, I can't remember that one. Yum yum. And then let me see. It's pretty late. It's pretty late, so let me see if someone's streaming who I know. It's pretty late. Yeah, well, not for you. Oh, Kappa! Let's read Kappa! Kappa! Kappa, Kappa, Kappa! Let's read Kappa! She's the cutest. Let's read some Kappa. She's playing some demo games. Not sure which one this one is. Random horror games. Let's read Kappa. You can read mines? Wait, why can you read mines? Oh, better, better get a cup of a cup. <laughs> God damn it. You were probably like thinking, mm, who, who does she know? Who can she read? <laughs> Yeah, you got quite a delay, Lokuru. I, I noticed. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching, guys. We will definitely do more of this. I'm not sure if I want to stream this tomorrow evening. No, maybe not. I have to get up pretty early on Monday. Maybe next Saturday. Maybe we will do this next Saturday again. And then it will finally pick up. It won't be a snooze fest like today. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and... Tomorrow I'm gonna play Apex with Ryu. That will be interesting. We will probably play on Tokyo servers. So, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> See you around, guys. Boy, boy.